Uh, yep, we've been streaming, so here we go. Uh, Pete versus Sparrowhawk. Not sure what this matchup really looks like, but uh, I imagine it's lots of projectile spam. Yeah. Uh, Pete going in, going in with his pressure. I almost feel like, I wonder how this matchup is like. It can't be that bad because they're both really good. But like, he still is really good. He's still having a DP alone makes it really good to like answer a lot of her stuff. He with just that insane pressure anyways though makes yeah, it I not mean, even matter. Uh, Alko's got like rule breaker pressure, so it's like Yeah. You don't you don't need to bait anything really. You can attack from completely invincible positions with Alko. Um, so I think that it's this is probably just going to be Pete is going to He's repeatedly set orb. Yeah. Repeatedly set orb and just attack and attack and attack. And jump and jump and jump. And jump. <laughs> with his triple jump that Alko has for some reason. He really loves those jumps. Yes, he does. And he's not doing his EX Enders, so I wonder what the deal is with I him. I think he's just uh, he's, he's working the kinks out right now, probably, I imagine. Maybe. There we go. The orb. One next, next touch is death. Yep. Yep. That's that shit. Not fair. Nope. To be fair, fuck the other character, too. <laughs> so I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sparrowhawk not really able to get anything going the last game, but we'll see what I happens. Think, I think he's too. just kind of... He's being taken aback by having to deal with this Alko stuff, because Alko is definitely a character. Yeah, this is a character that you need to understand. Yeah, if you're really just kind of getting into the game with Alko, it can be really, really, really tough. Because she is just going to prey on you not knowing what's going on. Yeah, for real. That was some good Oki there himself, though. Yeah, that was pretty good. He not uh, shielding the moon move. The geyser of skill. Yep, the best Rekka in the game. Completely disjointed. Puts out the. Oh, night. I didn't I like realize that you could hit those. I think that's the only variant of the orbs that you can. You can just hit. Make go away. Ah. Nice mash out. That is good. No fear. Nice Rekka. Oh, a little late on the confirm. EX. Good air throw though. Good. That's all you can really get. There you go. There you go. You can do a cheeky air reset from that. Yep. Knows the right button to hit with P-Seal. It's a bit too late there, yep. Charge Those laser is so not, good. it's not your turn if you block it. Was it charge laser? I thought he did like a Rekka and a Rekka again. No, that was charge laser. Uh, and then he did uncharge laser yeah. because it's a projectile and it's fast. Yep. Well, nice match. Oh, doesn't believe in it though. That was a really good mash. Yeah, and just cashing out. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, that super is... If there's one thing I'd give about this character, her super is really, really weird to confirm into, actually. It's also it's quite safe, though. That's true, yeah, because you completely go back. Yeah. So, like, you end, even though if you're, like, minus double digits, you end at a space where, like, no one's going to answer it anyways. Yeah, no one cares. It's, it's pretty fucked. Yeah. Orb. The orb. Man, that almost makes me, I think I, I feel like I should go home and just, like, really look to see what the fuck I do against that super. I remember there, situations like that. I imagine every, I can I, do, I just do like the slash. I think everyone's got a. I think you just need to shield it. And oh, I, I hate that though. Yeah, I'm not sure though. I could be wrong. I like don't play enough but, PCLs that do the arc drive really. Yeah. Good wow, feedback. that was super invuln. Yeah, it's invuln like all the way. So and Pete wins. It's also its recovery is like insanely good. Like if you if you shield her EXDP. You can't shield it and then jab punish it, as oh, far yeah. as I know. So you fat. have to do a follow-up. Yeah. Some yeah. Which is some insanely good. It Compared is to other DPs, you like shield and then you just get the world. It is EX and she doesn't really... Well, no, that's, uh, that's not true that she doesn't get a lot off it. That's her like win condition. It's yeah. A knockdown is Getting anything. you knocked down and then setting an orb. Yeah. Is, that's her win condition. That's all you need to do. I mean, that's a lot of characters' win conditions in this game. It's yeah. really just all about... Really, so many players can just win by like. Yeah, you just knock you down. You hit the guy, dude. There's so many games I just win by like. Oh, I hit the guy. I'll just do a bunch of shit. And like, oh, cool, I won. Yeah, I've just been. Spencer, if y'all haven't introduced yourselves, go ahead and do that now. We already have. But, oh, did you? Okay, so yeah, awesome. We're, yeah, we're good. Thank you all. Um, but yeah, thanks. Um, anyway, uh, in preparation for this tournament, I've just been labbing a 50/50 because uh, yeah, I've been I've been doing uh, I've been doing a safe jump. Uh, as arc, but uh, it hasn't been working out for me lately. Because if your defense is good, you just never get opened up by it. Yeah. Well, you is that not just even because of the fuzzy mash shit I was learning? Was it just like other stuff too? Like it just wasn't uh, working. I was I was fighting Cosmic, uh, who's a good Roa. Yeah. And uh, he just never got opened up by it, which is fine because like you know the, it's just supposed to make him block, but uh, the the pressure afterwards is just like not there. It's not. 
it's Arcuate pressure, so it's like good. So I was gonna say her but pressure like, is good. I don't know. It's it just never seems like it's enough to just get the hit and then run away with it. Yeah. With 50-50, you can. It's super cheap, and you can snowball really fast. So. Um, it's preferable. Yeah, I've always had that kind of thought of, like, I've always really... It's funny that I always, like, really, really wanted a 50-50, and the whole thing with Tono, the whole joke was that, like, he's flooded with them. And then I've just gotten to a point... I always reach a point where, like, even though I learned the 50-50, I just start straying away from it. I just never really liked them. The biggest... I talked about this with Riley. The biggest thing I hate about 50-50s is if I do a 50-50 and the other guy blocks it, I can never tell if I fucked up the 50-50 and made it too, like, tellable or if they just guess right. And I can never like mentally get past that, where if I do a safe jump, I just do a safe jump. Well, and I'd rather just do that. If they don't know the tell, you can probably bet that they just didn't guess correctly. Yeah. Um, the only time, I think the only player that I really would consistently 50-50 is Pete. Just probably because he never sees them. And he's, he'll always be like, oh, that's fucked up. You have to know the tells, that's all. Yeah. Like if, if uh, I like almost never get hit by the arc 50-50 anymore, because I just know what it is. Yeah. Like, if you see them, Delay it even slightly. Okay, it's gonna. It's just not gonna cross up. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't yeah, cross up, then I think that's a lot of those. Then you just block it low. Because you can't. Uh, okay. Uh, John actually recently just got over COVID. Uh, and uh, I think it was like day. literally this is like the day of. Yeah. This is. He just. Uh, he nice just hit. started. Uh, yeah. He just was negative yesterday. But uh, uh, well. Oh. Um, yep. Here we go. Uh, oh, takes so, out though. Uh, you've been telling me about how he was playing Lies of P the Lies of P the entire time. Dude, I need to play that. You, I know how you think, but I still feel like you should at least try it. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale. Yeah, good I think I'm just gonna out. do that too. Yeah. Uh, free pressure. Still has free pressure. Oh, gets the counter. Good. The guard with the shiki making this it is, work. This is still pretty even. John has full moon drive, which I imagine he might use right here. Oh God, no. I think he's dead now. Oh, he's definitely dead. As long as far doesn't fuck the... Actually... He's not dead. No way. Guess for games. Is he going to moon drive now? No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, the uh, fake cross up. Is that not a cross? Oh, I guess you go back to... You go back yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good round from John, though. That looked really strong right away. Yes, it was. John it was does know this matchup pretty well. Yes, he does. I wonder why. I wonder. Okay, Havard with the functioning Shikioki. Yep. It's good enough. Makes him block. Heats out, yep. Wake up into that. John surprisingly yep. understanding how to play Roa better than a lot of, like, really prolific Roas. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people who, like, they're playing Roa and they're just like, hmm, I think I'm tired of being in my invincible zoning position oh. and throwing EX just, Needle. Oh. I think I'm just going to go in and get hit. John with a really good B and B there too. That, that looked, was strong until that he dropped really, it. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that one's like actually tough. Okay, does Roa going in with his plus, plus 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 double over nice block. That's take. Oh, yep. This is gonna do a ton. This is gonna be a good for Vard. Oh, does it get the one bar? Oh. Wow, I'm surprised that hit. But I it guess it is extended leg. Yep. Wow, nice mash. This is gonna kill up all that heat time. Yes, yep. it will. And it'll give him his Oki of nice. choice. He does that. That's for a game. Wow, He's just hit. raw meanie. That's a round of John. Excellent. All right, let's go. Excellent work. This is a, this is a, this is a match. Nice nice air chase there. Oh, yep. Good. Oh. That was a really good maneuver. That was good. Yeah. Very good. Some of those double the slides are really yeah. tough. Oh, yeah, no. he saw him crouching. He did the shield just a little too early. Yep. And he also shielded low. <laughs> All right, Havard in a really good spot here. Yes, he is. Nice empty low, but he blocks it. Yeah, that was really good defense from John too. Nice, good out. Yep. yep. Excellent. Yep. 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 And that's game one to Havard. Oh yeah, I think I was talking with him earlier. Where apparently it is pronounced. Wait, it was like he's. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Havard. And I like to, I asked him, I'm like, have I seriously been calling you the wrong name for the last five years? And I was like, I'm just going to start calling you Jacob because that's your fucking name. But then that means I have to know more Jacob. Whoa. Okay, the rounds are ADP. ADP. Odd choice. Kind of getting silly with it. It would work, though. I wonder if that was just accidental, though. Uh, oh, he, wow. Punishes he, the tap. That was a yeah, tap he, shield. He flubbed the shield, yeah. Wow. It's the defensive hit, though. Yep, Moon. Nice trade, though. That could have. Nice up close. Oh, shield. no, that wasn't. 
Man, That's not what you're supposed to do. On John's right. kind of going crazy on him. Yep, he's doing some Roa stuff. Good 5C to kill the yeah, fucking crap. Yeah, that, that yep. 5C is demonic, dude. Yeah, it is so fucking good. <laughs> nice. Like, I think I it's I was like trying to lab against it, like against Roa Rebe pressure. It, it is and weird it's like, for like... You, it's weirdly good considering it's a 10 frame normal. Yeah, you he, look he, at he, it on paper and you're like, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't win this much. But it's just the amount of having that... Having that forward advancing movement I think the on idea. top of the giant stagger window is just ultimate. What's that? I'll swap out. Oh, gotcha. Well, we got the really good commentator now. True, I can't play the game at all, but I can read a wiki. Oh, we got the fancy... Uh, UI and everything. Uh -huh. Havard, a uni player by trade, uh, doesn't play this game as much as he plays Undernight, but a lot of the skills carry over, which is why there's such a big crossover between the two games. 3C um, does, yeah. Roa versus Cheeky, you know. Uh, Let's drop it. Oh, oh, nice oh. weave around the meter. That 2 and 4C is very hard to avoid because it's such a huge diagonal hitbox because yep. it goes all the way up above him, too. Gotta pop. Right. You got the super, and he's got one more bar too, just in case he wants to do any X or something. Yeah, you can you, you can you can late heat it. You need a DP. Oh, you the deep. little two BC that could. Nice air block. He had it. Oh my oh, god. Oh wow, that's better. All right. Roa has. A oh, that could have been so bad. Actually, no, it's really bad. Didn't block the jump C on the falling down either. All right. Are we going to complete the combo? Oh, gets the 2-2-C for a little bit more damage into the EXDP. And oh, gives up Oki by doing the OTG. Oh, my lord. Can't imagine. Ah, oh, the nice, shield. Nice, nice shield. You should be, should be dead. Uh, Woo! Can you turn down my headphones a little bit? It's a little loud for me. Thank you. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. Okay, okay we're good, though. <laughs> Turns out being a good player fundamentally will get you a long way in a lot of different games. Shiki Tono, well known for being very sort of. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, very much a strike throw character. He doesn't have a lot of high low mix outside of you know short hop IAD stuff, but he's a very solid game plan because his you know his frame data is so beneficial to him. Very, he's not plus on anything, but he's the most he's the worst he is is like minus two ish on things. So it's really hard to figure out when to challenge him. So trying to. Tricking people into pressing where they shouldn't is like his bread and butter. You should you should be able to pick your points at this point when you, when you look at his buttons. Picking your points is pretty uh, important when this matchup, uh, most in the Shiki matchup. So we've got uh, Heaven, Leaks say hello. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, hello. introduce you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, my, my name is, my name is Main Marcus or Main Heaven. Um, I'm just one of our multiplayer. Uh, I'm Kieran K I E R A N slash Zubaz six zero four. You didn't need to smell it. <laughs> I do. Trust me. Um, it's funny because like I'm the, your local one and tour. Uh, I practice a lot, but it doesn't matter. But I know a lot about the game, so I'm better here than actually playing the game. I already lost to Pico. I died instantly. He's my first opponent. Well. My first opponent wasn't here, so I got a DQ win, so I'll, I'll take that as a one. And then I got annihilated by Pico, so that's uh, one and one so far. <laughs> well, it, happen it happens. We got Leibs with the Banana Vlov versus Spencer with the Shiki. Shiki famously got much better recently because he's got his new combos that involve the DP, which build him a lot more meter. So he's always going to be meter positive most of the time. Um, and the thing about it is, is like, he's always going to be left from the being able to left right and do do, do play this play this mind game, yeah, you can't do that. Um, so like, he's nah. got like you know, he's got everything that a lot of the powerful characters oh, has. He's got a I simple, think he was he was negative there. I don't know why he provided him breath actually. And he builds left a lot right. of meters so that he can always do. He can go into boundary peak whenever he really wants to, as long as you get a couple touches. Yeah, Vlog, ah. I mean, Vlog does not have a five frame normal famously, so his close range defense is actually lacking. I Meaning you have to gamble on moon drive. Nice. That's it. That's actually it. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. A little, a little different. I. All right. Well, a little bit of lore during the uni bracket. Leaves did fall to Spencer, so I think he's looking for a little bit of revenge right now. Yeah. Just two to a. Just do it. Why not? Oh, oh, that was that. Oh, oh, you're gonna punish oh, for that. Nice yeah. punish. Yeah. 
probably want air fireballs guard against TK. Those fireballs do have recovery if you can make them whiff entirely, but that's a huge if because the hitboxes go so high as well. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're All right. not too hard to make them whiff, actually. Oh, the 2-2-A, gotcha. Oh, nice low shielded. You have to high shield that, yeah. Oh, shield B over the uh, way, so, yeah. so the thing about that is having an 8 frame normal is so so unfortunate in that this matchup. Gonna pop. Nice. Oh, that's that. That's, oh, that's oh, get a, get, nice shield. Nice. Yeah, Spencer's been Spencer's a gamer. He's been playing these for a long time, so he, you're not gonna catch him by trying to, you know, brute force your way through with flash frames. He knows how to react to that, right? All right. Nice. So it makes it whip. Actually, I don't know. I think it was a little too far. Cool. Ah, it gets hot though. Yeah. Now you're in the corner, and Shiki still has Moon Drive for a little bit longer. Ends it with the super just to get uh, the uh, extra options. Because the options are not incredibly powerful on their own, but the fact that you have them really increases the uh, potency of your offense. It game. depends on your that. opponent is constantly thinking about what you can do. You're well, you're, you're thinking about it too much. You're, they're not constantly thinking about it. The thing about the the, the the it makes matchups certain matchups easier. Yeah, because he can. They they cover. It's not like he really needs them to be good, but the fact that he has a wider toolkit makes them more threatening to your opponent, which is kind of the big part of it. All right, All right Spencer, game, game you know, two, he's been playing two. these French Fred games for a long time. He knows what he's doing. That's game two, good. using jumps to get out, get out of these weird situations. But spend the bar, you this oh, shield gonna, Oh, shield uh, I thought he was going to try and 6pc there. No, but, there was no reason to do that. Yeah, it would have been, yeah. Shield Wars. All right, no one gets the upper hand. Moon drive. Uh, oh, but it was two B hits two hits twice. Oh my god! Yeah. Shiki two B hits twice. It means it automatically wins flash interactions. And if you moon drive through the first hit, you're you still can, gonna get hit by this. You, you can you can exp be able to do it again. So. Yeah, you can buffer DP in that to get out of it. But yeah. Oh, he, okay. nice. Nice block. He didn't charge it to do the gimmick of trying making it uh, blockable with the charging. But you have to stand shield it. Sometimes people forget about that, but it's obviously not something you should really. Ah, uh, you can't lose. You, so you you are plus, you are advantage in, in that Turnoki situation. The idea is that uh, you can um, three C is three three B option most of the time. Uh, you are basically one touch right now. If one hit, that's gonna probably kill. If you actually get a move drive. Oh, oh just, just actually, barely not not too far to bait that. Nice yeah. run out, beautiful. Yeah, get out of there. Uh, shield, no, gets fatal. That's it. No, the drop. A little oh. too high. All right, he's got to get clipped. He does it? A, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's good. That's yeah, good. he needed at least two more touches there to kill. So uh, Spencer could have EXD beat that. But. Yeah, but he could have. I mean, there's a lot of things that you. Be honest, uh, none of us are robots. There's things that you could do, but it's hard to do it. The two other stood stagger. Yeah. It throws. Rock, tries, rock. tries to catch back dash. Uh, I don't know why he's trying to catch back dash in this range. There's no reason to really back dash this range because you're, you're you're just getting, giving up a lot of positioning. Now you're at the range. Just runs right in. Yeah. Which oh, is that smart. can that can be interrupted actually. You can't let Blob get set up. Any chance you have to catch him off guard by oh, there's forward, no way. The, the thing is, there's no way to let him get set up right now. He has no bar. He's 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 comfortable losing this round right now. It's All right, now he's in the corner. Is he gonna try and gamble on heat? Is the big question. Oh, gets punished, but no combo afterwards. Clash, clash. Ah, uh, that was off. The five B, gotcha. Five B is an advancing normal too. All right. Spencer's run round away. Yeah. JB. Oh, it tries to shield uh, something, but it gets, yeah, now you just get opened up low in the corner. Alright, into the boundary peak. So what's the next option going to be? He has full moon in case he wants to use that as well. Yeah, it just heats out. Spencer just, oh wow, the BC was too close enough. Oh, but the drop, yeah. Alright, oh, nice. Ah, uh, that might be it actually. Yeah. That does does. He's got two bars, yeah. Yeah, there's not any moon drive, so there's no invincibility or no clash frames on that. So you actually, you might live. You're living. You'll live. You'll have one. Just one barely. Time. Yeah. Actually, he, he, actually, he did the wrong combo. You could, if he does the double slices, actually, he slices. He actually. Yeah, in moon drive, but pixel. Got oh no, the option. I feel like you should. I was a good option. Go back to neutral. Good, good, good moon drive. Oh, actually, um, weird combo. Immediately into the two two C. Over the drop. No real ender. Yo, oh, doesn't block the heat though. We're good. He's still in this. Ah, oh, that's fatal. It, uh, that's it. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Spencer takes it. Moves on. It's definitely one of the stronger players in the region. Doing this for a long, long time.
God, I think it was fourth in uni. I don't yep. remember what he got. Yep, fourth. Oh. Do it on this one if you can. It's a nicer camera. Yeah, okay. Can you point it at us or? No, just this one. Secure. Okay. Secure this one. So we have the 3D printed medals fresh off the, uh, the wherever they were made to give away. We got the, the logo, Fall 23. Okay, no, hold on. Oh, I, I, I got it. I got it. I already showed them the camera. Is that, is that, is that, is that good? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Oh, nice. What? So we have an arc ditto right now. Hardly versus Blixby. Um, Hardly, of course, the preeminent. I would say he's after the last few mix. Him and Pico, I think, are sort of neck and neck. But Hardly has edged Pico out in the last couple uh, mix fests, having won Grand Finals from losers. I think in both of them. I don't remember them. I believe so. That's so. If I had, if you you know, made me rank them, I'd probably put Hardly one and then Pico two, and then Blixby is a up and coming another arc here, quite good. I used to be able to beat him, and then he went right past me, and it's never been the same since. So you know, good player, he's a good player. Yeah, but they played each other a lot in casual, so this is definitely not a matchup un uh, unfamiliar to them. You know, standard arc pressure things. You're blocking forever. You gotta, you don't want to press, you don't want to get counter hit because she has so much damage. Oh, the, what? That, oh, that oh, was definitely there. missing point, but it's alright. Let's get, get away from with it. And Hardly is the yellow one, Blixby is the purple one. Yep. Oh, good, good, good. Get clipped ball to 2B. Two, right, two Into the corner. Hardly has been practicing this special secret corner 50 This is not really secret. I, actually, but I, Hardly I, was. This is Blixby. Hardly has been doing it. He learned a new special corner 50-50 that he's been. So the thing about me, so the thing about the corner, it was discovered a few. Well, it, it's, been, it's been it's been a thing for a while. But he just learned it recently. That's what I mean. He wasn't using it before. Now he is. All right. The thing about it is it is hard. It is harder for a lot a lot of arc players to actually do. Some some arc players right. will just take take the safer jump. Yeah, just 3BC out of there. You're in Moon Drive, right? No, sorry. Yeah, just 3BC out of there. Because even if it's blocked, you can uh, jump cancel it. So if your opponent wants to call you out for doing it, you have to shield, which has its own uh, risks. Alex. I think I think, I think names. Yeah. Oh, Hardly Hardly's on the left. Wait, am I, am I looking at it wrong? Yeah, Hardly's the yellow one. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, jump C, the very tip of it. I know, it arc. gets confusing with the mirror match. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, whoops. Arc Jump C, one of the most infamously privileged buttons in the game. She's absolutely huge. Active for, I think, 10 frames. And she can just sort of bully her way through a lot of air to ground interactions with it just by throwing it out. I think it, it hardly is on the left. So it's on, 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 on left side. He's one to one. Who's got one to one? That's the color. That's the color. Oh, was I wrong? Yeah, hardly the purple. Hardly the purple. Oh, one. all right. I guess I'm just, I just guessed wrong. So, yeah. Much yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. much like when I play. I mean, it's hard. not what they told me, but whatever. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, have no idea. Yeah, no, my, my bad. My bad. I, I, I know, I know his color. It's, it's, that's his color. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. God. That's what I figured. All right, never mind. Um, say no. All right. Standard arc wage stuff here. Oh, it shields wrong way. Gets hit on the jump C fatal on the down. Uh, uh, doesn't no, just get points. it. Yeah, it waited a little bit too long, so it get it from the OTG state instead of just a normal combo. It's got two bars here. It's not enough for arc drive. Yeah, but yeah. Well, well, I like into the full into the full uh, conversion of the 2B. Like I meant to shield. Was well, pretty smart. I, I like that. Showing your options early will, will help. Oh, oh yeah. Just, the backdash just... is out of there in time. Nice. Good. Good PC, actually. It was kind of an obvious option because I felt like you know, we were calling it out. That's going to be... Oh, the dive claw gets doesn't get unblockable, though. Yeah. All right. Now you're in moon drive to get out of the situation, and you're getting a ton of damage and maximum meter. Just goes uses one bar, and then just keep the rest in case you need to secure the kill. DP is the wrong out. way, oh, yeah. and you're dead. Yeah. Nice. 
And he didn't have to use back to max meter for next round, too. So it's both players are at max meter here. Fatal in the air. Gets right. the full conversion to back to the ground. Now you're in the corner. Time to guess once again. All right. Yep, and I knew that one was left. I, 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 I saw it all. So I was, I was playing earlier, and I was just getting constantly cooked because I just can't. I'm just trying to guess that I'm just wrong every time, and there's no real consistent way out of it. Oh, that's. Mm, yeah, and that's it. Three bars, you're absolutely cooked. Doesn't even need him. <laughs> yeah. The air throw. It's only so much. You're, it's, it's such a nasty setup that you can basically guess, but even then, it's so hard to see what he's going to do. Pretty much. All right, Barley moves on to to all. Moves on to all. Move on to all. Uh, we'll be moving on to the top eight, winner's side. Really strong play. And this is this is qualifying for points, so all everyone who does get top eight. At this bracket, we'll get points for the PSA bracket uh, qualifiers uh, and the leaderboards. I'm not too sure how many, but you will get a decent amount. So, thank thank you guys for helping help, helping. Uh, sponsor, well, not really sponsor, but but support the support the event and make the competition a little bit more eager to play because there's more stake at the line than just uh, pride. Oh, Spencer's back up. All right, so we've got an undernight match here. Spencer so versus Card. We'll have we'll have a mirror this match. Uh, this should be interesting. Um, Another mirror, yeah. This time Shiki though. I don't think they ran it ran it in under. I don't think they've. They don't, yeah, I don't think they ran into each other. So yep. Yeah. Yoshi. Yosh. Doing our best to make sure we don't get any more name related confusions. Yeah, Havard is the white one. Spencer is the one on the left. Oh. Ah. Alright, Marcus is swapping out. Back in for hardly fresh off his victory in the mirror. Alright. Spencer loses the round start 2A match. Oh, gets the oh no conversion off of the fatal. It's still a little too high. I need you to match. unmute me, dude. Unmute me. Oh, never mind. I'm good. You are unmuted. Okay. Another fatal jump C. All right, thanks. This time gets the real combo. We gotta start swapping when we're not in the middle of rounds, guys. All right. Here's with the fatal 2A combo. Yeah. Spencer's tried to shield the high. He expected a meaty jump C. All right. He's Here's doing a 50. 50. Moondrive moon back, drive. yeah. Instant back <laughs> Tono yeah. classic. Oh, the little two. Drained a lot of moon drive, but he did get a confirm off of it. The 4BC that could. Yeah. Do his safe jump. Oh, oh he mistimed the safe jump. Was he expecting a drop? 3BC? Oh, no, that's too bad. Yeah. The 3BC is, even if you block it, they can still jump cancel it. So shielding is the only way to actually truly call it out. Yep. Ugh. Okay, doesn't, uh. get, doesn't get punished. Oh, the unblockable. Oh, no, he tries to get away, but he chases it with the uh, Lariat. That Lariat's really good at catching back dashes. Hard kinda... putting on a clinic here. Yeah. The... Oh, what a oh, match. Here's Spencer coming back. What a, a brave challenge there, man, but it gets the counter hit, so he's all the way at the other side. All, all right, he's going guys. into Nania. He's still got a bar to spare because he got the pity bar. 5,000 damage, not bad. Moon drive. Oh, gets a counter hit anyway. Cause Very good. Hits twice. He must have mashed. Nice 3BC. Good disrespect. Spencer's going to get a lot of his meter back with this. Yeah, it's not enough to kill, but he's gotten in the corner with no moon. Yep. Excellent work. Gambles on a DP. Was not Gambles correct. on the safe jump. Inadvisable. 
Uh, yeah, Shiki 2 bc is such a good move because it's really good at sort of challenging in that sort of area because even the second hit means they automatically get hit even if they weren't doing something else. Yes, it's quite good for uh, for winning those kinds of situations. Standard pressure, blocking. It can be very hard to know, be very scary to sort of challenge against Shiki pressure because you never know when you're going to get counter hit for trying because he basically frame traps the character. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A moon drive interaction. The one who did it second wins. Spencer has now got full bars, but Avard is in Nania mode. He needs one more hit. Nice this block. Work. Nice oh, block good again. God. Oh, he, drops the, he drops the uh, combo. He wasn't going to win off it. Yeah. Uh, oh. This is it. Oh, oh yeah. he got Nania. But not enough. He still needs, Just one, needs more one more hit. He does have Avard. Well, Avard does not. They tried to fake him out with the. Uh, fake him out, but he's thing. evading. He's evading his blows using oh, no. his intellect. No! He tried to heat, but he was already running forward. Yeah. That's too bad. So game one goes to Havard. Or Havard, or however you say battle it. battle of the French bread fundamentals. These air, the air, they're <laughs> just jumping and pressing jump B. Yeah. That's how it Trying goes. to do it as you fall, because it's got such a generous hitbox below. All right, is he going to finish the whole combo? Yes, he does, but it doesn't get the the best knockdown that he could, but he doesn't, wanna, doesn't have any meters to spend there. Oh, Going forward with his mids, but he... Went back to blocking low too early. That's right. He had to play how many hits with Shiki. Oh, fatal, here's the no, fatal, but he drops it. Oh. Shielding for... No punish on the shield. For some reason. Oh, 3 BC, oh. flash frames right there, yeah. Didn't get the reaction check him. No. Yeah. Doing a good job trying to stay safe against Shiki's moon pressure. Yeah, Gets the punish on the... With three bars? No, it's not enough. It's this be could be enough. Oh, is it? He got it. Just barely, yeah. So now he has it for all of this round, the Nanaya moves. That's right. Which helps open up your offense until we get a lot. He is a bit low on resources, though. He needs another hit to get his moon icons. Yeah. Or to get moon drive. Oh, rather. fell on top of the last hit yes, of it. That fell is on rough. the lariat. That's too bad. Gets all the way to the wall on that. Oh, doesn't get the Hex full knockdown though. Yeah. And now he's the one. Oh, he's got the go cheese far. cutter. Yeah. Oh no. Falling jump C. The charge jump C too. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, he oh, drops the B and B. Full Moon Drive. Uh, moon Drive back. Oh, I think Havard was just waiting for the twitch on Shiki yeah, to activate Moon Drive. Whoever, so whoever goes first loses, so it's basically a game of chicken. Spencer here is one hit away from death. He needs to get two more hits on Havard. Yeah. Havard's doing a good job evading Spencer in neutral. They're both oh. kind of low on Moon, but here goes Spencer with the combo. Nice going Probably for not quite optimal. Spend one oh. bar, but not the two he wants to Oh, he's going to go for the... Oh, oh he's going, going for a safe heat so that he can buy back one oh, of his turns. nice! Excellent. Just, this is it. Just barely too far away. Just the perfect distance to bait it. Spencer takes game two. Yeah. My boy is on. we got to defend our territory. Yeah. Excellent work. All right. We've got a talented, uh, patented air footsies up in here. That's right. Havard didn't go for the slide follow-up. I don't think he's done that even once. Air shield, BCs. He did a good job forcing Havard to waste moon to keep himself safe. Yeah, the BC costs half your moon gauge. It can be a lot. Oh, fatal jump C, though. Gets all the way back to the ground. Uh, yeah, with an EX move, he's going to get a lot back. Gets the knockdown. Just a couple shy of a full moon gauge. But, oh. oh, it was too much. He uh, he'd he would already. Yeah. He, he went for the run up air back dash, trying to beta throw tech. Yeah, but the, I guess Spencer pressed something. He got counter hit. It was too slow. Uh, I think he thought that he could uh, air throw him or something. Nice 3 uh, Too much delay. Not enough delay on the auto combo, or it was just a weird height. Just just keep pressing it. Getting a weird hit with just the keep moon pressing slash. Just press him. Neither player having moon. Havar takes round one. Yeah. Shiki is the strike throw. You have to leverage the throw to make them afraid of the strike. That's right. Yeah, just there we go. All right, here comes Spencer. Oh, you got the fatal. There's no reason to play his game when you don't have to. You can just meet him in the air. Oh, yeah. Get his turn back. 
Oh, almost got Aaron blockable. A strange time to heat, too, because he's not getting very much health back. No, he's not. It's, uh... I suppose he just wanted Spencer off of him. Yeah, it's like a super... And he didn't... He's I don't know. It's only one bar, so it's, it's like a cheap burst. Yeah. It's harder to deal with than DP in a lot of ways. Yeah, because you have the shield that you can't block it. Even if it's a similar penalty for uh, messing it up. Now, uh, uh, yeah. Going slightly negative into shield, the classic. Yeah. It's so hard to figure out like what I'm supposed to punish this with, if I even can. Because like, if you choose the wrong option, you can just get blown up. He's gonna do a Moonskill shield. Havard has been absolutely throwing these Moonskills out whenever he's in Moon Drive. That's right. Spencer's not doing a lot to police it, really. He's doing his best to avoid getting uh, hit by the full brunt. Oh, here comes the fatal jump C combo. I'm not sure this will be enough to kill. Maybe if he reaches three bars, but he won't. Just barely not before the end of it. One hit away from death. Oh, he got hit by the unblockable. Yeah, it's hard Excellent to react work. to that if you properly leverage it with all of Evard and Spencer congratulating each other on a good game. They know each other pretty well, uh, is my impression. Oh, I have to go lose to Alt. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Shame how that went against Havard, but I can see that you were a good sport about it anyway. Oh, yeah. Havard, we're pretty, I'd say we're pretty even. And I was saying earlier to Riley, too, where it's like, I am not going to be too mad about whatever I get in this game, unless it's like, I don't know, 0-2. Because the thing is, is that I have not. Yeah, I have not been playing it at all. I see. I've been only playing Uni. Well, like I've just been playing this for fun, so as long I as imagine can, I'll do decently well. As long as you can de-rust, you can yeah. you can pretty much perform at optimal level. Yeah. So we got Marcus versus Pete now. Uh, Marcus, oh, uh, quick. one of the most prolific MNFGC players. He's a Saber player. I don't know if he's been on stream already. Um, I don't think he has yet. Uh, routinely, I haven't seen him. Routinely makes uh, he was on commentary earlier. Routinely makes uh, top two to four in uh, Mixed Fest. Uh, definitely one of our strongest players. For sure. He's gone to tons of other shit to enters all the online stuff. Yes, he's very, very, uh, very active. Very About active, as active player. He can be. Yeah. So, I think we're in for quite a match. He can usually give him a decent run for his money, all things considered, I'd he say. Makes, he makes him work for it. If he can get going, it makes him work for it, for sure. Alkaoki is definitely tough to deal with, especially a Saber. Yeah. Since you don't have a meterless uh, defensive option. It's tough. Saber pressure is also very tough in a different way, I'd say, though. There's a lot of self-second guessing, for sure. Yeah. There's nothing really cheap that Saber can do to just open you up on offense. Yeah, it's like very honest, but in the same way of like, it's still... I, it's hard to explain. It's just, you know, the usual French red, you just straight stagger. Throw. Stagger, straight throw. throw. Yeah. But sometimes you just put them in a space where like, they just starve. Marcus has been doing a lot to up his offense lately, so... Yeah, he's been learning all kinds of random meta shit. Not even meta, he's uh, he's been adopting like sort of the same thing that I do with the uh, run-up uh, air backdash sort of thing to bait throws, which he previously wasn't he's doing very much. He's been doing that. He's yeah, he has for... That. Yeah, but... For a uh, long time. He has, but I feel like he doesn't keep it in his uh, in his RAM. Yeah, that's all. Excellent sure. work with the safe shield. Yep, Double knowing, perfect knowing that you have game one. There. there he goes. So game two. Tony's pointing at me. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Uh, Pete finally getting the hit. Has orbs out. Oh, <laughs> best dive kick in the yeah, literal yeah. world ever created. Yeah, the plus five dive kick that you can't. Beat Only if you punish. charge it. To be fair. Well, but yeah. The move, but the hit, the, that move is just insane to me. It's so good. It's very strong. Yeah. It creates a lot of uh, really strong situations for Saber where it's insanely hard to punish. Good DP. Reaction crash. DP. That was really, really good. That was quite strong. Gets a hit though. Here we go. He with three bars too, so. He's gonna do something. He's gonna be able to do something here. Oh yeah. 
I was expecting some kind of banking. Yeah, he was, he was expecting him. Marcus to basically disrespect the whole setup. Yeah. Oh, could have ended it right there. That was that a punish? Did it say punish text on there? I'm pretty sure it did. But I think he wild. just got the combo. Yeah. Oh, I think the the, the, the hit hits so high up that it was really you basically. There's a lot of moves like that where if you hit really high up in the air, uh -huh. you kind of have to just link your landing buttons. Yeah. There's not really a huge buffer. Ooh, excellent. Nice. Yeah, that confirm always works even if they end up behind you. It's really solid. It's a 50-50 off of his EX Ender. That's a true 50-50? I believe so. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the tell is, but he's crossed yeah, me up with it before. Face the heat again. Heat this punish. shit is Oh, actually, I don't know anymore. Yeah, he's not even trying to go for super, like the level three. I think he wants to kill with a grab. He's gonna grab. Oh, good job. Oh, that was maybe Pete remember. was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I think Pete might have been. Yep, oh, excellent right. work. Good stuff. Ooh. All right. I wonder what the next match will be. I don't know. I see Strive over there. It's either going to be okay. Hardly in Havard or Made in Heaven and Pico if we're still in winners. But down in losers, you got Spencer Bixby, Average, Heavy Lobster, Leaves, Pete, and then Master Chipmunk. Still a good amount of people. Yeah, we I got a lot of losers. We got a lot of losers bracket to run. Yeah, I imagine they're gonna run most of losers off stream. I, I bet. That seems to be how it goes. It looks like Havard. No, that's that's Bobbert. They both have the big ponytail going on right now. <laughs> I imagine that probably means you or Pico and Marcus go up again. <sighs> I suppose we'll see in a, in a moment when uh, they catch wind of no one being on the melty setup. Yeah. Tony's probably trying to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the sticky note here. This is PG-13. Okay. I guess I'm off. Okay. All right. How are you? It was a solid, uh, solid win earlier. <laughs> like four perfects in a row, I think. So uh, it, was, it was the double perfect one, and then and, the cap second game was a little close, I but <laughs> I just realized I had my full. St <laughs> I forgot this. He, they, them, or he, him, don't mind either or. Nice. I forgot I put that there, and it would, it would actually like add to put a whole thing there. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Havard. He's playing pretty, playing pretty, playing pretty good, actually. He always plays good. He always he does. He had a huge set at uh, Combo Breaker, and it, I thought it went pretty even. And I don't know how much he plays this recently. I can't imagine it's too much, but I have not. I have. I it, it was, last, it was a, when it, we played at the weekly, that's the last time I played this game. It was a really rusty, it was a really rusty set, I'll say yeah. that. <laughs> it was a lot of rust on that set. It definitely requires a lot of mental work when playing playing Shiki. You have to really get your confirms, like especially like the air, air yeah, confirms. Missing you're, a few of those. If you're missing air confirms, that's scary because you're just missing damage over and over. Yeah. Uh, am I up now? Okay. okay cool. All right. Really, really strong start from Havard. Well, if you include my DQ as a win, I went exactly as I predicted. So. Oh. All right. Really strong start right now. Oh, man. He's kind of getting clipped a lot right now. That slide goes very far. Really strong start right now. But all it takes is one hit right now. It takes the one. Oh, the throw, the throw was a little scary. Right, the back dash out does get clipped. Under safe jump. Probably dead here. If you do spend a moon, yeah, you're dead. Yeah. Does oh. get a little greedy. Doesn't want. It, doesn't want it. Oh no, we're not playing. You can't block that on the. I can't block that from the air. Yeah. No, they try. I I like the idea of the jump shields because you could force a really really rough shield situation. But it probably wasn't worth it. Let's get the poke out. Oh, 
Does get does it accidentally does pretty weak Oki. Ah, second shield A. Shield A's are getting are clipping right now because like, you're not like, that you're not tap shielding you're you're getting clipped by these now. Alright. Oh gets all I expected a jump C but got a land in it 2A instead. Really? The only tough scenario right now, you gotta guess, fortunately. Ah, and that's all right, yeah. There you go. So hard to tell, but it's something you have to tell right now. Alright, going to the second. Thanks mutual. Ah, makes a whip! Nice! Jump over the 6 BC. Yeah, yeah, I can't really do that Oki again. Dark's Wreck is so huge. It's an impressive neutral tool that she can just leverage her will to use. True. Alright, what's the Oki? Oh, gotcha. Expecting a low, get high on the other side. Oh, uh, expecting left again. You could, you could definitely yeah, anti-air yeah, that. The 3 BC, yeah. Gets the full combo. Probably should have done 6BC, but probably saving the wound just for a case for a weird scenario. Then all the way to the top of the screen. Why is he doing that 5A off on OTG? It's just ruining his knockdown. Uh, you're not under, you're not you're not getting the bigger picture. You're forcing a tech situation. In there. Oh, okay. That's why he, 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 he hardly actually accidentally tech toward. He could have died for that. Chases a back dash. You're in a you're in a rough spot. You're just, you're, this is gonna be that Samuroki. Oh, Shield. nice. Whoa, no. no! Not like this, not like this. Oh, my lord. This is actually kind of scary. Uh -oh. oh, wow. DP to cap. What a good DP, actually. I'm surprised he buffered that while also blocking everything else. Pretty, pretty easy to actually block. There is some proximity to blocking, so you can you can easily buffer some things. But you have to... Never, never mind. When you hold down back, you can easily do a forward. To a down, well, because you remember, DB DB is down forward. You can just do down forward, down forward. But you're never mind. Um, it's a, 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 oh, dude, you, yeah. you can't high shield there. You, that, that's always gonna be, you just be low. It's always gonna be low unless it crosses over. Yeah, and if he does the high, it'll cross over to the other side anyway, so you'll get fatal either way. Yeah, yeah, okay. see, just like that. It's fine. I think I think that round was pretty much over from the start. Gonna have four bars going to this next round. Could, could, if we get to a comfortable hit, we can get, cash out right away. Oh, that's a really rough start. So you can't really challenge that. Oh. A little, a little nervous. I, 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 no. Already does back out a little bit. Can't really do much here. Trying to chase the back deck. It's really hard to chase that. No, oh, gets caught on the other side with his falling jump C. Alright. do the whole combo. He's got four bars. He's probably going to spend one. And then doesn't finish the food, but. It's hard to confirm for that range. Yeah. Alright, into the moon drive. He already has so much meter, so he's not gaining any more. You get, this is a guess for a game scenario. You gotta be careful. Nice. Ah, the J across J. That's why that setup's so good. You can cover pretty much any option. Pretty much. Quick 2 0 by Hardly. For sure. For it's sure. very hard to deal with the the, blend, the arc blender. Alright, so that will actually conclude our winner's decide of the top eight. Well, actually, one one more. It'll be actually me. <laughs> I gotta fight Pico. Oh. Um, yeah, it's you and Pico. Okay, cool. Ah. Uh, it, it <laughs> yeah, just Marcus has to play. It's Marcus and Pico now. Deal. So now we got Pico versus Made in Heaven, or uh, Pick, I guess. Oh, never mind. We, we got go. Pico now. Pico is sponsored by Chainsaw Man. That's right. Fujimoto himself is making this happen. After Pico traveling uh, okay. 30 miles from his house in Egan to uh, Moundsview. And booking his hotel room at the American right across the parking lot.
So we're looking at a pretty good match here. So uh, Pico and Marcus, I think, are pretty evenly matched. Uh, yeah. Though I'm not sure how much Pico, I'm not sure how much Pico has been practicing lately. I know that Marcus is very active. Hold on, just a second. All right. He's gonna go with Roa here. All right, we're good. He used Roa against me, but that's not much of a. Roa is quite a meta character, so. Yeah, to say the least. Yeah. And then you know Saber has uh, been uh, Marcus's main character for a while now. Yeah, he has uh, pockets, but they're not as good as the Saber. Oh yeah, the Saber is easily his strongest yeah. character. <laughs> but it's good to branch out. Yeah. Makes you a more well-rounded well player, I think. Uh, allows you to absorb concepts that you might not otherwise. Doing some wreck of pressure, but he's got his needles now. Yeah. Oh! Too far for the BC to connect. Denying him a shield RPS. Just poking Bl his guard. Blocking I sense a heat coming, honestly. Yeah. Kind of a low-value move, but yeah. oh, never mind, he's got him. Saber's wreck of pressure is really uh, tough because she's often far away, so that any t if you try and sort of Smash the 2A and, and just interrupt, she's too far in her way. Yeah, it basically sets up a, a range where she just automatically punishes you for trying to do that. And Here's Roa charging half a bar, uh, waiting for the hardest knockdown in the universe to conclude. Exactly. And then, uh, blocks the various overheads. No, oh. press, try to press something. Roa, normal's pressure is yeah. tough. His 2C moves him forwards, by the way. This Doesn't might be a. Oh, it didn't kill. Nah, he didn't spend it. I heard that Marcus was doing quite well against Pico in casual, so hopefully that holds up uh, in bracket. Yeah. Text the throw. Ah, oh, but he five this Bs. Is still first to two, right? Or is it first to three? This is first to two. Okay. Uh, this is winter semis. Uh, oh, fatal jump. Hey, I believe whoever wins this goes into winner's finals with me. Okay. All right. In the corner, standard row of stuff. Marcus has four bars, so he could try and blow it on a big reversal, but I don't think he will. It's nah. not, not a smart idea to do here. No, he could get a he could get a potentially game-ending heat here, trying to get Roa off of him. No, he goes for the moon drive. It's definitely the safer option. Oh, but gets the gets the throw. Oh, oh the delay a. a. Very strong option. Oh, oh no! What a flub. Was he expecting Roa to Pico to do something? Or I what? think I think he's nervous. Yeah. I think he was just expecting Roa to poke into it. Yeah. Sometimes the winning move is not to play. That's right. Sometimes you just got to do nothing. But I have faith that Marcus can bring this back. Yes, he's been in similar situations before. Just a couple of weeks ago, uh, he basically reverse swept me in, re in uh, winner's finals at a weeklies. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. It was impressive stuff. Got his bar up. Now you gotta navigate around the needle pressure. I can't imagine dealing with Roa's needle pressure playing a, a character slower than uh, Arcuate or Saber, honestly. Well, it, yeah, going through the air feels impossible. It's like a trap. But then you, you trying to advance on the ground is like also difficult. You can't just get in. You just can't make anything yeah. work. He's always just out of range. Because if you're gonna go in the air, you have to shield the two and four C, or else you're just totally boned. Yeah. And even then, that's not a great position to be in either. Oh, very strong backdash also. Keeps him safe. Ah, this is not working out for Maiden Heaven. He's just doing the very the simplest stuff to keep, you know, Saber out. It's tough stuff. Yeah. Especially tough for Saber since uh, he, she can't close distance and have a, a long range fast option. She kind of struggles against in that in a way that particularly Arcuade doesn't. She can do dash up 2B, goes pretty far, and Arc is very fast. So just closing distance and just stopping him from throwing needles forever is quite a challenge. Yeah, because it's like, if you, yeah, you can't advance in the air because 2 and 4 covers all that. And advancing on the ground is even harder because needle is so strong. That's right. So it's like, do you try and gamble with shield BC? But even then, that has its own risks. Oh, just a moon drive back. Now oh, jump shield. excellent work. Yeah. Jump shield. This is going to hurt. No, oh, he drops the, the punish, enter. but it's still one touch. Marcus can make something happen. Oh, he just needs to get the one hit. Gets like BC on a on a 4 BC or something like oh, that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, does he get the Oh, oh he, he get the doesn't get the confirm. It's just too far away. Now, Roa's got two bars. He can't afford to block Needle again. Oh, oh nice he high rough wanted. Nice block on the high row. Yes, excellent work. That was, I think, a panic option to catch any sort of I, yeah, I think he was, that I think he was, might have pressed. Yeah, I think he was expecting more RPS. 
And Hyro is invincible op full screen option, so, but if you block it, it's minus a million. Yeah, it punishes everything, but yeah, like you said. That horizontal air dash is doing a lot for Saber also, and uh, trying to thread through uh, Roa Needles. There we go, oh, dive kick. the dive kick starter. Dive kick is basically impossible to anti air. Your best option is just not be there when she does it. Yes. But that's easier said than done. Oh, good mash from Pico. Reading the empty jump. Or he was just mashing. Nice. Block, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he wasn't thinking about anything at all. Blocking the overheads. You're gonna have to leverage the throw to get him to stop here. Moon drive's way up there. Tries to do the moon drive. Nice shield. No, oh, he should have done shield A. Yeah, just press when A. You shield, to one. When yeah. you shield BC, you get out of the way and allow Roa to escape. Yeah. No, gets hit by the finally the oh. jump. Oh the no. Finally the jump B. I think we might be down to the last hit. Pico could potentially win here. No. No, I think it's over. Unless Pico makes a disastrous drop here, I think it might be over. Only one bar, is that enough? He's got Moon Drive, he could try to EX. Barely not. Nope, not quite. No, oh, no. that's just too bad. Could have a good fight, but... How's it going? Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Go get him, gamer. Uh, how's it going? Introduce yourself, friend. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's My name is Riley. It also leaves. Play Blob in this game. It's a pretty fun game. Yeah, we're just here getting into top eight here, so. We got Spencer versus Pico. So it's probably going to be Shiki Blob. Uh, well, uh, or Shiki, like he Pico's been using using Roa the whole bracket. Roa? Oh, Roa. Okay, then Shiki Roa then. All right. Yeah. No, oh, this is Spencer and. Well, Blixby. Is, okay. Blixby, not. Uh, oh, they had the. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. No, oh, yeah. That's, be, yeah, uh, that ain't Pico. Uh, right. Shiki versus Arc Arcwade. Yep. Arc is a very bunch of bully character. She's got obnoxiously huge hitboxes and ability to just run her game plan. Shiki is, of course, very simple. We've seen him many times before already. Mm -hmm. Strike throw type character. Strike throw. Honest, but very good at being honest. Yeah. Very fundamental based. Yeah. It's just a lot of frame trap pressure because he's only minus two at worth in a lot of his stuff. So if you try to just press in the gaps, you'll get killed very quickly. Yep. Ooh. Nice throw. Yep, nice throw indeed. Oh, mashes, but doesn't get it. Doesn't get a connection. Oh, nice jump B, fatal. Nice. It's not gonna be it, but it'll be close. Yeah, one more touch and then safe jump into. Spends one more bar just to get that little bit extra. Ah, yeah. Yep. Just yeah. keep scooting forwards and making you block again, and you don't know when you're allowed to press because if you press at the wrong time, it could be disastrous. Makes it very scary to blow. Oh, nice fatal. Nice fatal, yeah. Met him in the air before he could really get anything going. All right, just gonna do the special corner 50-50. That's very hard to reliably defend against. Yep. Oh. Just, yep. Keep in turn. Oh, nice shield. Been over the 5A, but wasn't able to get anything more off of it. Probably didn't believe it was gonna connect. Uh, nice. Just run up and throw him. Yeah. Throw him. Yeah. DP. Arc DP is the 2-2 input. Makes it very easy to do. You can't cross it up either. And that's also why Arc's wreck is such a huge uh, press of neutral option. You can let it rip very far away and just plow through things. Mm -hmm. Alright. Keats to get some evens up to help. Yep. Doesn't shield 3BC. Gets hit on the way down. That's it. Yep. Round two. Looks like it'll be going to Blixby here in a moment. Yep. yep. Spends one bar. Yeah. Doesn't have any moon, though, for the third round, which is... We'll probably play a key factor. We'll right. see. 
Oh, fatal. Oh, no conversion. Dive claw, yeah, that's minus. Alright. All the way to the corner, into the DP ender. It still has a bar to play yep. with. Yep. Yep, that's and right gets throw. gets fatal. No, but no conversion. There we go. Just get... I uh, went back to low blocking too soon. Because with Shiki, you have to count. There's often a lot of extra hits. You have to keep... Uh, you keep doing overheads. All right. All right. Shields. Shield Bs. Blocks, but no shield back. And... Oh! Nobody loses the shield wars there. Yep. Oh, crash frames. That's it. That's it, yep. Game one going to Spencer. Yep. Oh, nice conversion. Alright, safe jump, I guess. Yep. Nice throw. Uh, it doesn't pick up the combo conversion off it, though. Alright. 50 50 time. Ups the DP out. Ah, the unblockable. Alright, nice heave. Ooh, that was a good DP. Alright. Oh, yeah. Quick speed is in control this round. This isn't gonna be. Yeah, just barely not enough for Arc Drive. Oh, just DPs. You're, not, you're gonna. Your pack's against the wall anyway. If it succeeds, you might as well get out of there. Yep. Nice. Oh, stand shields to overhead. Wins the ensuing interaction. Nice. It's not it, but it's gonna be close. It gonna might be. It. Back. Oh, no, 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 no. Scaling just a double game. EX ender. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Shouldn't have second guessed. All right. I know. Yeah. I forgot that Shiki has the double EX, you know, yep. routes. Spencer, uh, one round away. Blixby nice put tag. up a hell of a fight, though. BC's, BC's back. Oh, no, drops the, uh, there we go, 6BC. 6BC goes very far, very fast. It's a very powerful move for your opponent doesn't see it coming, right? Oh, 4BC, it's low. Picks up up the wall bounce. Uh, no, nice doesn't to be. Yeah. Counter hits. Yeah. What's the corner setup going to be, then? My guess, safe jump. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Standard 5A lands and goes low. Ooh. Oh, but hits nothing. Hits air. He's got three bars, but doesn't spend them. There we go. Oh, oh and can't, extend a, can't extend a throw with meter in this game. But he's got one more hit. All he's nice hit tag. All he needs. Yeah, just 5A, 5C. There you go. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Game going to Spencer. Oh, we got heavy lobster coming up. Heavy lobster, vlog player. Having a hard time seeing from this side of the computer. Who else is up here? Oh, Mr. Chimpunk, Master Chimpunk. Wonderful, wonderful, thank you. All right, yep, so we're going to be seeing probably Akiho. Yeah, Master Chimpunk is Akiho. Akiho, yep, Akiho. He's still in the bracket and I'm not, right? I mean, like. Yeah, I know. She, no, she has good mix, like. Not to, not, that's me making fun of myself. I yeah, mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> hey, Lobster took me out of the bracket, so. We need to see the better vlog.
Vlad versus Akia. So uh, this matchup's really bad for Akia. Uh, Unless she, she gets in. Well, she doesn't. Vlad, Akia's rings are really good at hitting people out, but Vlad doesn't have to care about that because he doesn't want to get in. Yeah. He doesn't have to care about that. Yeah. This means that Akia's tools basically don't work against him, against him at all, and so she's kind of it's very not good for her. Yeah. It's not impossible, but it's definitely one of the especially because the player skill matters more than just the matchups anyway. But yeah. Yeah, it's a good matchup right until the point when she knocks you down. Exactly, or something like that, or she yeah. forces you to block. Basically, yes. Like, neutral-wise, as long as we're in neutral, Vlav's winning. But if we're, like, in this situation like now, Heavy Lobster's is in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Her jump B is a huge button, has a hugely deep hitbox to hit Ooh, on either side. Nice fatal. Put him full screen, get the health back, smart. a little bit of help now see this is exactly why she has no real tool yep. to get past all this either yeah just like universal mechanics that's her it her good skills go put her right in the path of the fireballs too and she can't really she can't answer back because her projectiles just sit there yep nice don't you don't need to go towards her yeah yeah Akia thrives on sort of getting people to come towards her so she can check their aggressiveness. But if you just don't choose to play that game, she's a lot, there's just really much she can do to threaten you. Overhead, we're a lot overhead. of yeah. We're also in ice mode now, so yeah. it's even it, now I would say it's a pretty bad for hockey. Yeah, trying to oh, jump nice. is rough. The ice skills are going to get you. All right, now you're in the corner. Safe jump time. High or low? High. Nice, nice run under. Got him, yep. Uh, he gets oh, the oh, jumpy. Yeah. Jumpy is a huge button that goes incredibly far for us. Oh, the little 4BC that could? Oh, he, oh, he didn't shield it. Yep. Uh, he shielded that was a guaranteed punish, but he gets it with the 2-2A anyway. Just chip him out with the ice. Uh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. You not need no. to get, don't need to go approach her at all. Yeah. Jumps, evades over the icicles. All right. Fiddle. It's not gonna kill, but it'll be close. Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's it does a damage. lot. Round one going to Master Chipmunk, or match one going to Master Chipmunk. My bad. Yeah. I think Heavy just needs to slow it down a little bit more, bring the pace yeah. of the game to his court. And it's important to sort of keep the game in a situation where Vlava is advantageous. You don't need to give up space if you don't have to. See, that's the only, like, the struggle of playing Vlav sometimes is you have to remind yourself that, yeah, I should just stay here and not go in, exactly. even if I'm bored. Exactly. Or even if I'm jittery. Alright, do some damage, send them far, send them back. Nice shield. No! Yes, that's right. You can't, if you do A too quickly, it'll whiff because she'll be on the other side. You have to stop and then punish it as she's recovering. I've been there. I did yep. that, that happened to me in bracket once and I was very mad when my A whiff. Yep. Yep, it's a frustrating one. Those 2-2-A, two, 2-2-B, two a, two, two just such a good way to control the whole screen. Oh! Oh, it gets, uh, it gets hit by the shield B, but it wasn't a fatal, so that's she's got that going for her. Right. Blocks the overhead. Now you're just blocking, blocking, blocking. I'm trying to get through the the uh, firewalls, but it's not easy. Yep. Shield B. He's obvious. He's gonna see. Oh, gets wins the shield wars though. Right. Blocks, blocks the high. it. Yeah. Gets the side right. Oh, moon drive. Yeah. Oh, that was good. No shield in response or anything. Yeah. Oh, just OTGs. Oh, fatal. Fatal. Yeah, this is going to be some damage. And put you full screen, too. Oh, no, he's going to go for the safe jump mid screen. All right. 2B, huge button. That's a challenge from distances that she cannot respond. It's my turn. Oh, yeah. caught him sleeping at the wheel. That overhead might be slow, but when you don't do it for, like, a whole set, and then it comes out. 
works pretty often. Already both players have activated Moon Drive. We're not even at 90 seconds in the timer. Look, man, they didn't pay for Melty Blood just to not use their all their buttons. Oh, six pieces oh. out. Six pieces out, yeah. I'm trying to jump something. Yeah, if they're in Moon Drive and they can't, like, activate it, it's pretty safe to do that. Otherwise, it's a little bit riskier. Fatal. Now you're back in the corner. Back in the corner. It works. Blob cannot leverage his advantage in range. What's the mix? Oh, there will be no mix. Goes for it. Not BC. No. Oh, no. Ooh. Landed on the wrong side. <laughs> oh. And we still get it in time. All right. Just right under the wire. No, it, trying to cover as much distance as you can, but yeah. Back. I'm plus. She's so close, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one good thing about Fireball that a lot of people underestimate is that his fireballs are a lot more, have better frame data than his ice ones in the sense that they're more plus. So in situations like that, Fireball can really thrive. Gets a counter hit there. Counter hit, yep. All right, you've got it. Oh, unfortunate, uh, yeah. Now you're another, some more yeah. damage, but oh, fatal. Fatal, yep. Uh, you finish your compost. <laughs> it's the nerd. I think we, we're seeing a little tournament nerves probably here, but. Uh, is that, uh, you got a bar. Is that a, no, it doesn't spend it though. I'm thinking burst. Oh, shield. Oh, right. yes. Yeah, okay. Shield right. A whiffs entirely. That's yep. great. That's a lot of recovery on that. All right, last round. Uh, you're already where you don't want to be. Shield yep. B, no punish though. When you're far away like that, Shield B is the only option you can do, which makes it really easy for the Blob to see that you want to yep. do it. Plus, if you're really awake as Blob, you can just uh, 3C it. Yeah. Oh, gets the counter hit. Okay. He's not in Moon Drive, so that, that Moon Skill has no fast frames. Blocks the right way. Doesn't get punished for the low shield, but... Uh, that 5C... Oh, gets cut. No, cuts the back dash. He doesn't finish the combo. Oh, oh no, meter Text spent forwards, there. but no punish. Oh, it's my turn now. Nice. You're getting chips, but you can't let it get to you. Master Chipmunk getting his health back. Ooh. Gets hit. Oh, that's a grab. That's gonna oh, get hit. that's a lot of damage. It's a fatal too. It's counter hits. If you're oh, it didn't actually counter because he dropped. It. Oh, nice. Yes. Let's go. All right. That was a good one. That was a good one. You don't want to drop your heat punish. I've happened to me before, and it's not a good feel, so. No. What's up? What's up? No. Guess whose ass just got handed to him in the last round? Who do we got All next right. here? Made in Heaven versus it's Spencer. So okay. This is in losers because Marcus lost to Hardly and Spencer lost to Havard. So winners finals is going to be Hardly versus Pico, and then this is losers something quarters. Yeah. Saber versus Shiki. Spencer has pretty much only been Shiki. I think he's had a pocket before, but he didn't last very long. And I agree, it's Shiki is fine. There's no reason not to play him. Sure. Yeah. And then. Uh, Made in Heaven has a pocket Vlav and a couple of pocket others, but it, yeah, it'll be Saber. Yeah, but they're not as good. They're, it's not a good idea to pick them, in my opinion. Yeah. Thank you, Nanda. 
Okay. Already in the air, pressing lots of jump buttons. Mm -hmm. Lots of air dashes, we love that. Yeah. Blocking, blocking, blocking. You don't want to press wrong on There we go. He caught him jumping before he could actually get a button out with the uh, Shiki 5B. Yep, that grounded button couldn't have blocked it if he wanted to. Yeah. Five, Shiki 5B is also advanced in forwards, which is useful. Didn't block low. Was expecting maybe a jump C, but didn't able to get back to low in time. Defends a bit of meter. Gets that hard knockdown. Yep. Blocks that correctly this time. Gets thrown, yep. Shiki is a strike throw character. He can do either. He also has the 5C unblockable if, you, if you're avoiding both of those. It's counter hit, but no conversion. Yeah, just these 5C, 5A rebeats are so scary because, like, if all he needs is one hit, it's really easy to clip you with that. Yep, he's being real oppressive with that rebeat pressure. It's uh, hard to stop that. 5B, jumpy, gotcha, on the way down. It's a very generous hitbox directly diagonally below him. Ooh, gets hit. Not fatal, though. He dropped the shield. He got punished and is recovering. Alright. Now you're in the corner. Saber's got three bars. Nice break on the throw. Oh! Fatal. Counter hit dive kick. Here we get the real conversion. Spencer was not ready to do that out of the corner quite yet. It checks out, though. Oh, and the fatal. Oh. Ooh, couldn't quite convert off that. Yeah. Gets an OTG is the best you can get, but... Continue Doesn't block the unblockable, block. you have to stand shield that. Counter 2C goes so far. He's in moon drive though, be careful. Yeah, it just matches out. With four bars, that's absolutely enough. Oh yeah. Just spare. Would be building a ton of meter right oh, now. No! Oh no! Oh! What happened? Somebody's being a chump. They didn't disconnect their pad. We got Blakesby coming out here, defending himself, saying it's not him. Couldn't be him. It's in his backpack. Time and evidence will tell. Uh, he reveals his controller. It is indeed not Blixby. No need to have a trial. It is somebody else in the venue. Remember to, remember to disconnect your pads, people. Spencer laying down the law. He's imploring the good people of Mixfest, Fall 23, disconnect your pad. Or you might just interrupt losers' quarters. Quarters? Semis? This is quarters. Quarters. I, I, Marcus has already won, so. Yeah. It's, uh, it's probably not going to come down to a big dispute. We've decided to restart the PS4. Understandable. When the culprit doesn't come forward, we're only left with so many options. So while we're sorting that out, y'all entertain the people for a bit. Uh, Tell us about what you do and where people can find you and that type of thing. It's a lot of pressure. Uh, Go ahead, Zubaz. <laughs> um, I don't do much of anything. And, uh, do you have a Twitter account? Do you post memes? Uh, I mean, I have a Twitter, but I don't post much, post much on it. Yeah, me either. Most of what I do is about stuff that people don't really care to read anyway. So, mm. I... Uh, I repost uh, memes on my Twitter, and I also repost architecture stuff, I guess, because that's pursuant to what I do for my day job. That's Heavy Lobster with, uh, with the last E as a three, because it's like it's 2005 in my mind. I'm like, I'm Zubaz604, I think. My profile picture is uh, the Candy Claws album. Uh, nice. 
most people listening don't know what that means, but you'll know what you mean when you see it. My, uh, my profile picture is me from like eight years ago with an Eno hat uh, photoshopped onto, onto it. It's a really low quality photo, which is something that I find funny. Oh, look at that. The game didn't even die. Yeah, yep. There we go. Uh, he's dead. Game says so. Oh, they're going. They're ready for it. Back into it. I don't understand how the game remembered where we were. That's crazy. I guess it was just rest mode. It just like suspends it and then huh. it does it back whenever you go back into it. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, look at that rebeat pitch. It just got rid of those shields two times in a row. When you shield a stand yeah. C these days, uh, I think that's right. what happens. Gets a little bit of conversion off of that. Gets a knockdown. Bomb blockable. You have to stand shield that. It's really hard to be. Oh, Ooh. nice. Opted to walk back to get the punish, not a shield punish. I mean, either is fine. You get a full punish either way. Yep. Might get slightly more damage this way, but there's no health for Made in Heaven. Yeah. That cheeky f charge 5 C is hard to react to because you can't block it. You have to stand shield it. Exactly. And yeah. even then, he can still do all the normal shield options afterwards. Yep. Uh, if you're really quick on the draw, you can do a moon skill to interrupt it, but if you're slightly too late, you can... It'll clash and things won't be work out very well for you. So yeah, Shiki has uh, a ton of clash frames on a lot of his normals. You can blame that knife, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Playing neutral as best you can in this game. Moon drive. Good old moon skill. Getting a nice mid-screen conversion here. Doesn't get a hard knockdown. Does a moon slide. Marcus shields that and does a full punish here. You can't uh, do the shield options yeah. if you're doing a moon skill. All right, now you're in the corner against Shiki. Oh, gets caught trying to escape. Made him in the air. Yeah, and despite the fact that that was just a, a jump A, I think, the fact that it's fatal means it's still a lot of damage, especially with the super, the Nanya install. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Nice! Yeah, he tried to heat in the middle of that, which normally works, but he can cancel it to make it whip. It's not dead, but it's close. Gotcha, 5A. A dominant round there for Spencer. Fatal counter for Maiden Heaven. Another jump A there, round start. Gets Spencer into the corner. Yep. And Spencer's got no moon, so he can't moon drive. Only one bar, too. And he could EXDP if he wanted to, but he's just gonna take those pl plus frames. Gotcha. No counter hit though, but he didn't. So he didn't try to press something. But yeah, it's, maybe try to jump. Probably. Mm -hmm. There are some spots where you can jump out of saber pressure, but if you're wrong, you're really wrong. So. DP, nice. Hey, he's not gonna get a lot of damage off of this because invincible starters scale very heavily. But he's gonna get the corner and a knockdown. So which is the best you could ask for in that situation. Gotcha, yep, see, that 5C is really hard to deal with. Yep, he's gonna have to do that about five more times in the match before he blocks it, or at least that would be the case if it was me. Just kidding, commentator's curse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no shield on the heat either. Uh, shield Wars gets grabbed, not enough though. Just enough to live that. Gotcha, Ooh. yeah. Saber's jump A hits directly above here, which makes it really, really good in air-to-air -air engagements. Yeah, men in the air, oh, no finish though, shield. Just grabs him, yeah. Shield into do nothing, the classic. It's a useful option because a lot of people sort of panic and they do options when they shield, and just letting it, dropping it can be allow you to get a punish anyway. Mm -hmm. Especially if the two of you are sort of playing chicken. All right, now Saber has you in the corner. What's she gonna do? Clean 4,200 damage off of that. That was good. Yeah, heat's in the middle of there. Yeah. Uh, shield, BC. Melty blood, melty blood. Ooh. Nice shield, six BC. Gets a punish off of this. Spencer now has no moon and no meter. That situation to be in. Good shield, does shield a B. delayed B teleport. Next, but not a, and shield B is zero on hit as well, so it's basically a rock paper scissors situation after, even if you hit with it, unless it's a counter hit. Moon drive, moon drive again. No punish. He gets a conversion from that far away. Uh, Evening it up a out. bit. Right, moon drives out for both players here. Spencer has brought it all the way back to almost even here. 
Especially he's got more, more bars now, too. The jump normal. Is he going to do super here? No, it's not enough. Oh, Ooh, just enough! Oh. Not going to kill, but... Makes it really tough here. There's okay. also no reason to save for the next round because it's the last one, though. Oh. Not quite no, enough. He had to do it just to get it under the... Oh. Uh. Nice, yeah. Ooh, what an interaction there. Yeah. Moon drive, stand shield. One to one. Some words exchanged, and we're into the last round here. It'll get us into uh, loser semis once this wraps up. Yeah, the winner of this plays between the winner of Bard and Master Shimba, so we'll either... But yeah, these two players play each other all the time, very evenly matched. Yep. Oh, Ooh. what was that? Shield tried to catch something in the air, so kind of match attempt after the tech out. That was like fourth level reading there. He did get punished for it, but also did get it. Oh, got him on the ground before he actually hit the ground. Uh, Spencer did a full moon gauge, so he's got a for like 30 seconds in total. Although every time you use a moon skill and moon drive, it takes a chunk out of it. He's going to get one moon skill in before the timer. Tried to crowd shield a little bit there, but oh, there it goes. Nice interruption, yeah. That's not invincible, but it's so fast that it will beat the slide. That is a way to interrupt that. As long as you can buffer it correctly. Oh, no fatal on the low shield from the air, but also didn't catch anything, so you'll take that. Bit late on the punish. I see. You know? Gotcha. All the way to the corner, you get a lot of... Uh, he gets, already has max meter, so you just want to do it now. So as soon as you spend your beta, the sooner you can start building it. Oh, no! Oh, what is going on out there? It's like a controller disconnect there. Okay, luckily it was in the super. They're both okay with moving on. Yeah. Nice counter. That was a deep mash, but it worked. All right. Situation is flipped. Now you're in the corner. Are you gonna survive? Low shield, BC. Out, so it gets caught, shield there. All right. All the way to the other, almost to the other wall, but not quite all the way there. It gets thrown. Move drive, move drive back. Unblockable, do it again. Do it again, it'd be funny. Yes! It's really hard to just really see that coming and react in time. At least it is for me. It's me too. It's, uh, they have to be really predictable with it. Because it's also the, the required option is also different from a normal overhead. You have to shield it instead of just blocking it. Yep. So you kind of have to both recognize that it's happening and do the correct option. Once again, combos into super, that cheeky privilege of getting so much meter for yeah. playing the game. The DP, the, pat, the update he got in the last patch really helped him because it gave him the new routes that involved DP, and DP builds a lot of meter in this game no matter which character he uses it. Huh. moon drive, so might get one more moon skill before he closes, but yeah, he's gonna take the normal combo. Hard knockdown, guess again. Nice break on the throw. No, oh, wow. Whoa! That was a fatal air throw, yeah, trying to catch him, trying to escape. What is this, Exard? Yeah. Cut that out. Oh, all right, that's the start. No, drops it. Gotcha. Ooh. Argus is out. That means a victory for Spencer, and he moves on. Some solid Melty Blood gaming from both sides. Like you are saying, they're, they're so evenly matched so often. But this time, Spencer made it work. Up next, we got Master Chipmunk versus Harvard, or H Havard? I don't know how to say it. I say Havard, but Havard. it could be anything. 
like Havarti, like the cheese. I know Master Chipmunk plays uh, Akiha. We saw him earlier when he was playing against me and narrowly won. <laughs> Normally, see him there. There we go. Yeah. There we go. All right, both players are ready. I'm not an expert in this matchup. I'm not an Akiya player, nor do I know all that many. I know a couple, but uh, Shiki likes to advance forwards, and the rings are good at sort of stopping people from doing that. But he also has, Akiya's rings can also be sort of cumbersome and slow to really leverage against uh, Shiki. But get, she really does make you block, which you know is good. So a couple of flip outs here. There. Yep. Oh, tries to throw, but was blanked. Uh, Yep, yeah, see, you let that ring out there, he cuts off a lot of his advancing options. You're he right. can't go through it, right? Oh, it gets fatal from the air and shield interaction, though. Bad. A lot of damage into the corners. That's a ton of damage. Look at that, 4,500. Oh, moon drive 2A. Got caught. Didn't get fatal, but got hot overhead anyway. He's still in moon drive, so he might, yeah, do a moon skill to try and save himself, but. I think he's trying to save the uh, meter to uh, get the install for the next round. We'll see, though. That's a super jump to chase each other yeah, down. Yeah, he, he got clipped by the ring there. Kind of, if you can get a ring out there, it sort of helps to mit mit mitigate the threat of Shiki 2 to b Oh, gets hit by jump B. Yeah. That's a really good air normal because he hits diagonally below him. Hmm. It's a really good active thing to throw out there. All right. Navarro showing have a really good, yep. Yeah, he fell back onto the ring. Doesn't matter that you hit the right button there, buddy. The ring's there. Exactly. You gotta watch out. Slides underneath the ring and slow profiles it. Oh, uh, he just, yeah, when he's in moon drive, he just lets those moon skills rip. If you just hold shield in neutral, he'll go right into him. On a shaky gameplay. B teleport, get out of the corner. Yep. B is also zero on hit if it's not a counter hit, so it's still RPS even if you connect with it. Oh, it gets hit while in heat, though. He's going to waste a lot of it. All right, now you're in the corner. Moon drive back. Drive gets thrown anyway. Ooh. Moon drive forfeits your throw in, in vulnerability. So you can get hit by meaty throw if you moon drive, but normally it would not connect. Nice pressure there. Throwing out those rings. Shields into it. Oh, Ooh. if you block it in the air, you get air. You can get a block load from the ground. So you need to shield it, otherwise you're going to get uh, an hit by an unavoidable attack. Yeah, there's that ring again, but he's shielding them now. He's had enough. Stand block. Yep, there we go. Flashing BCs into a little bit of mash A. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gonna flash have to... right through it. No shield on that. There you go. He's going to have to find a little bit of a counterplay to that shielding the rings, or that's going to keep happening here. And one of Akiha's biggest weaknesses is that in order to get actually good damage and knockdown, you need to know like some pretty difficult combos. There aren't any like easier ones that she can she can default to if you just want like the knockdown. So if you, if you it's the real chance of dropping every time you actually get the hit, and you can't really convert into your most powerful asset. Good mash there, just to get your but, knock. Yeah, that'll be it. Boom. Back in this. Oh, it gets hit fatal by the jumpy again. Such a nasty butt. In the corner, you do standard cheeky pressure. Smashes out, yeah. Moon drive. There you go. Nice. Getting him at the do a follow up to waiting to see what the other person did. Gets hit by the two A. Oh, yeah. He catches jumps. The hitbox goes all the way up. So trying to jump that is difficult because if you get hit, you get to deal with this. CDP to get the hard knockdown. Unblockable. <laughs> nice throw break. Oh, it gets fatal. That's it. Oh, no. Oh, he no. drops it. He's living. Yeah, he gets caught on the way down. He used his jump, so he couldn't avoid that. 
Yep, high shield, gotcha. Yep. So. It... Okay, final round here. Too much on the ropes, but he can bring it back, even this up if he wins. Insightful commentary, I know. <laughs> nice, got him with the ring. If he wins, he'll be better off. Yeah. So true, bestie. Okay, gonna go for a little bit of hard the whole thing. There we go. There we go. No Good ring. Stuff. No ring setup possible, I don't think. Oh, no, gets caught low with the cheeky 2C. Right, both players have a lot of meter. Yeah, spend it just to get the 5,000 damage and some new moves. Yep. Oh, look at that shield. fake out there. High shield. Oh, yeah, you can heat there. Unless they specifically call out a kiss fatal, but. Oh. Just gets hit by the. the I forget which move that is, of hers. Launcher to get your hard knockdown. And Blood Heat gives you uh, bonus damage to your all while it's active as well, which is why that did extra damage. No shield on the heat. Oh, the 2 2 B. Another super. Instantly into Arc Drive, which is not going to be enough. But both players have no 2 2 B. Oh, that nasty little faint right beforehand. Yeah. Good stuff from Havard. Everyone's making sure to disconnect their pads now. <laughs> That's a wrap on quarters, and we're moving on to I think we're moving on to semis, unless we're doing winner's final here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think in that last match there, it was just unfortunate for uh, for Chipmunk just that he couldn't get those hard knockdowns because yeah. it made, uh, made it that Cheeky could move around there so much more freely. It'll be Hardly and Pico here for winners. Winners final. Both titans of the scene. These days, I think uh, Pico's playing Roa because that's what he played me with, and uh, Hardly is uh, an arc player. They play a lot of Melty Blood, and they're very good at it. Looks like they're going to uh, disconnect any of those errant pads so we don't have a repeat from two games ago. That's fair. Both these players have such an intimate knowledge of the game. It's, uh, it's not something that you can just kind of finesse your way out of. You, you gotta know, you gotta know the ins and outs of this game if you wanna beat these guys. And, so this will make for a really interesting match here. Winners finals at Melty Blood Mid Midwest Mix Fest Fall 23. Guess I'm solo commentary for now. This is great. This is cool. You'll get to hear my uh, very insightful commentary on the Arc v Roa matchup. Thing is, though, there's enough Arcroids around here that you have to get familiar with them at some point. Harbor I can also back there. you up just to fill out the vocal space there. Hey, nice. All right, so winner's final here at the Midwest Mix Fest. Pico versus Hardly. Pico on the Roa, Hardly on the Arc. This game is fast and frenetic, and if you don't know what's going on, it can feel like a lot, but at least it looks cool 99% of the time. Yeah, this game is a bit less character and a bit more systems focused, but uh, once you know the systems that these guys are employing, then it uh, becomes a little bit more easy to comprehend there. Roa gets a hard knock down there in the corner. Pico's got Hardly on the ropes. Good interrupt from Hardly. Hardly making his way here to the left-hand side. Full that classic, carry just uh, about. 
corner carry there. Gets himself in the corner, but that's okay. This will probably be death. Right back. Blam. Not much out of the round start there. Boom, another, I think that's Crouch B out of Hardly there. And this dude can convert out of anything. Just like that, he goes in the corner. Jeez. Ooh, opts to stay in the corner to get the mix, but Pico was not having it. Okay, watch the shields. Ooh, drops it. All right, Pico in here. Ooh. Hard knockdown from Roa. Gets hit with the overhead there. Flip out, though. Okay. And a BC couldn't follow up, though. That's unfortunate. Hardly makes his way back. And with a full arc drive Big there. Super. Nice. Game one to Hardly. Definitely a lot of talent here on the Melty Blood stage. I mean, Run the Mix has been running Melty Blood pretty much since the beginning, <laughs> ever since this game came out. And it's been awesome every step of the way. Mm -hmm. Wonder if they went back to character select just for uh, breather or to change the uh, auto combo settings. I'm not sure, but ooh, gets a fatal and does convert off of it. Good one from Hardway. Nice. Clean, 4,600 damage. No big deal. <laughs> ooh, Moonskill Needle doesn't get it into the uh, the Sea Lightning though. Some IAD pressure, low, low, mid. Okay. There it is. Hardly in, that'll take the round. Well done. Challenge there from Pico. He's gonna get a full combo and launch. About 4,000 damage in the corner. Hardly has to hold that. Opting for shield, getting it in. Very good delayed pressure there. Caught Pico trying to mash. Eight-way mix, what are you gonna do? Ooh, ooh. There's a low out of the corner. Damn, it's gonna be another point for Hardly. Oh yeah. Another arc drive, deja vu. That's another game for Hardly. Cinematic way to end the match. Damn, all right. Let's see uh, See if Pico can get some momentum going here in game three. We're in winner's final, so this will be best three out of five. Once again, opting not to just, not to hit rematch, but to go back to character select just to get a little bit of space there. Yeah, a little breather, change of scenery. I get it. Because got him in the corner. Can he keep him there? BC Clash. Still remains in the corner, though. Boom. Welcome back. Yeah, these two have been fought many times. I believe they, uh, Hardly and Pico has been the grand finals of two uh, mixed fest before this. And uh, Hardly has been pushed to the brink, but I think won, I think, both of them. I yeah, I believe he's won them all this year, so uh, yeah. even Pico has an uphill battle. Yeah, and he won them from losers too, so he wasn't like, you know, holding on by the skin of his teeth or anything. But he came back from the brink to like win them all anyway, so. He's been a very, very fundamentally strong player. Pretty much any game that he touches, he's been playing for a long time. And Dude just likes fighting games. You know? Yeah. Ooh, blocks Oh, the tried to throw oh. something. Finally, a round for Pico there. Things are looking up. I'm going to get a little bit of needle, but that arc run speed gets her right back in there pretty quick. Yeah. Despite being like a brawler type character, Ark has, doesn't have any problems dealing with long range zoning because she has lots of ways to sort of bully her way in, whether that be through Rekka or Moonskill Elbow or something like that. So a lot of matchups that you would think might not be in her favor, like Vov and the like, are actually not bad for her. I'm not like an expert, so I won't give you a number, but they're not as bad as you might initially think. That Roa 6C caught a mash of some kind. Yeah. Roa pressure is very simple, but incredibly hard to challenge. 
Moon Drive pops. He just locks you in block stun for an eternity, and there's very few chances that guys yeah, shield A on the BC. Gotcha. Good stuff. Keeps it simple, straight into the EX, no reason to complicate it. There's a game for Pico. Yep. Both players are going to have to adapt here if they want to. Don't count Pico out. He's a veteran of many anime games as well. Jump E, overhead, gotcha. Slightly delay it too so that you think it's not going to happen and then he lets it rip. All right, you're in the corner. Simple save, jump low. Wow, just jumps right over it. No 2 and 4 C. National oh, falls onto him with the jump C. Oh, that was just barely too far. If he was just a centimeter closer, he would have gotten the shield there and punished, but. It delayed just enough to clinch that. Attempted shimmy there, not much. B teleport. Avoiding these falling jump C's from Roa. Yeah, Roa 4BC, absolutely impressive tool. Charging down. Needling, needle to yeah, make sure you shield it when you fall on that. You don't want to get unblockable. Yeah, this is the hard part of getting around Roa's lightning because he controls both the ground and the air above him. Nice, Ooh. shield A. He said, I saw you do that. I'm going to do that when you BC too, man. It works. Eight-way mix. Lock right. Gotcha. Nope. Press something. Counter hit. The, uh, this 50-50 setup that he learned recently, he practiced and learned it pretty fairly recently. It's incredibly hard to deal with because it's like so hard to see what she's going to do. And like you basically just have to guess, which is a very hopeless feeling. Yeah, there's no, uh, I mean, honestly, I can't think of an option select that gets you out of that mess. So, yeah. Uh, good luck. Gotcha on the fa falling overhead on the way down. Still, oh, Kappa wins a little early, so he is able to check out. Oh, got hit by the 5C. Now we're going to see some corner carry yeah. from Arcroid. Talk about it. And all the way to the wall. Hard knock Goes down. for the standard safe jump. Oh, grabs the moon drive. And Arcroid gets a nice little combo after oh. the grab. Combo ends a little early. Normally you want to... Oh, yeah. If you, wanna, if you hit someone out of moon drive activation, you want to keep the combo going for as long as possible so that their timer burns down as much as possible. Ooh. And Pico got out of that because he had just the clash frames left at the very end of Moon Drive. He was able to get out of there. So you know, want to make sure your opponent, you take away all the advantages your opponent has. Okay, standard Roa stuff. Shield on the lightning. Such a huge hitbox on that lightning. You have to shield it or else you're just in blocks done for years. Nice throw. Art gets a combo off that. Not a lot of damage, but she does get a knockdown. Really maximizes throws, though, compared to other characters. Yep. Next time. Nice. Can't back dash either. There's an OS to stop that. She can go into a button that reaches long enough to catch it. You're all the way at the other wall, by the way. Yep. Doesn't matter that uh, we were just in the other corner. By the jump C. Arcroyd is that character. Have One fun. more touch. Oh, it doesn't block the, doesn't stand, uh, gets hit by the heat. It was a regular heat, so shielding it on reaction is not an option, so. Good shields, though, on the C lightning. Goes all three hits of the right. Oh, gets caught. 2A. That's maybe with the moon drive. With the moon skills? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It doesn't spend a meter. Gotcha. Ooh. I see. Jump C. That's an overhead and hardly takes winner's finals. Looking unstoppable here tonight. Good show from Pico, though. It's very possible that he'll uh, go down to losers and make his way back up pretty soon. Up next, it'll be Spencer and Havard. Oh, the rematch in losers finals. Havard being the man who sent Spencer two losers to begin with. I thought I heard my name somewhere. Winner of this gets the privilege of facing Chainsaw Pico. Yeah, losers semis. Making, we're being extra careful here, making sure there are no pads still connected. If I see more than one DualShock 4, I'm killing it. We're, we're, hitting, the, we're hitting the we're the remote, the kill switch that makes it explode. <laughs> at, so, the back door programmed by Sony. Yes. Activating the small explosive that is in all DualShock 4s.
making sure we're getting the names and colors right. No, this is first to two. The next round is first to three. Yeah, speaking of colors here, Spencer's the Shiki with the brown hair, Havard has the white suit. Yeah. Oh, Fatal Jump C, nice way to start. Definitely what you look for when you're fishing, throwing that button out there. It's a big boot, so it's his best jumping button if you can get it out there. Uh, Havard checks out, so it doesn't really have to take any real okey, just a standard block pressure. Uh, right nice. Top. Appreciate you. Shiki CC is pretty good as an anti-air. It's not like, oh, nice counter hit. It's not like the best anti-air in the game or anything, but it's quite efficient for it. Especially if your opponent's getting predictable with their aerial approaches. Yep. Oh, the trade. The trade again. C, but oh, jeez. Oh, he just, man, Havard is just moon, moon drives, moon, moon skill's strongest soldier here. Need to get the health Ooh. back, so things are looking a lot more even here. Didn't block the fourth overhead there. That's unfortunate. Gets the install. Yeah, that's the thing with Shiki. You're playing a game of like how many overheads is he gonna do? And you know, if you try and go back down to low too quickly, you can get hit. That's a round for Havard. You notice how when he gets that install, he loves to do the feint on Yeah. On that little uh, flip kick. He, he tries to get you to block high and then he does 2 2 B to get you low. All right, we got the install back. Now Havard has to block this nonsense. Yeah. The Nania install. Strike throw, by the way. Gotcha, yep, didn't count the overheads. Got hit by a second one uh, after transitioning back to low. Oh, Fatal 2C, that's not good. Oh, gets the launch too early though, it doesn't get the full combo. Now we're getting the rebeats. Shield, nice throw. Yeah, just goes low. Ooh. Nice moon drive, yep. Yeah. Moon drives right through the activation. Yep, said exactly. goodbye to the unblockable. I'm just gonna press the pause button. Yep. I mean, you do have to react that it's happening to press the pause button, but that's, you know. Right. Uh, Certainly one way to get around it, though. Yeah, exactly. All right, in the corner. No moon drive, but full meter. Uh, Boundary Peak does work as a reversal if you're feeling extra frisky, but you rarely see it just because it's not really a good way to use that. Nah, Ooh. gotcha, he forgot about it. That's gonna be, what, 5,000 damage? Over that, like 6,000. Oh yeah, there it is, wow. The the damage uh, prorates based on how much time is left on the blood heat meter. But yeah, every time you're in blood heat, if you shield and attack, you automatically do last heat, last arc, which is uh, easy to forget about. Yeah, it does not happen in most games. This kind of, yeah. Still alive, just barely. 2-2-B, two, two yeah. Got some life in him. Spencer's like gonna have to get this full combo here. Is he gonna heat afterwards? No, he spends his meter just getting the uh, finishing the combo. Cannot get mashed on. No, oh, there's no. a heat pop from Havard. He isn't getting much health back though. Gal caught him back dashing. Is that it? That's an it. That's it. Yeah, he has meter. Doesn't even need it. From the brink of defeat. The cleanest, most meterless combo. Oh, blocks the unblockable. You cannot do that on me. I also play Shiki. Yeah. Moon drive pop on a cancel there just to make it safe, but he gets a nice little conversion here in the corner. Depending on how often you play the mirror, though, you can't often get, uh, get got by your own gimmicks. Very true. I, I habitually avoid the mirror personally, but that's, you know, because of my own issues. <laughs> Shield doesn't do a follow-up, which is smart. Just get some throw afterwards. Nice little safe jump. A follow-up is not required, and often doing so would be a worse idea than simply not doing anything. Gets the OTG combo there, so it's not the full damage, but throw it's easily enough. I think he was ready for that, and he just wanted to throw afterwards. So yep. all, all according to the plan. Uh, yeah, de delay shield A gets hit by the delay shield back. Flash, yep. Just. Yeah, uh, keep mashing button afterwards to win the ensuing interaction. Into the boundary peak. No meter, but lots of moon to play with. 
wants to be able to. Bees, nice. BCs, yeah. He's gonna build one bar by the time he needs it. Yep. That's that moon drive uh, assist to the meter gain. Yep, it really helps. Using moon skills in a combo increases how much meter you gain by a lot. Oh wow. Nice Whoa! Throw. That's that XR yeah. air throw. He knows that he wants the last arc. When your opponent is in blood heat, they might uh, be extra motivated to shield a lot because they want the last arc, which makes them more susceptible to being grabbed. Ooh, oh, catches a back dash. Oh, full combo. 2 p goes very far, very fast. All right, Spencer's not out. He's not out of it, but clean 4300. What are you gonna do, Spencer? Nice block. Box it. Away. Says now I'm gonna pressure you. Uh, nice. Who gets the low? That's another game for Spencer. Much block on the 2 2 A. And gets him to shield high, punishes him for it. Clean, clean play. Moves on to uh, losers' finals here. Dragon Ballers are being quite loud. There's, a, there's some intense gaming happening over there. Uh, somebody dropped a super. Don't worry, most of that doesn't come through and we can control that. Just make sure your mics are really close to your face. Oh, sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was coming through or not, but let let, let the stream know uh, DBZ Gaming is happening. They're coming over here uh, after Melty Blood, so y'all get ready for the hype, because it's going to be a lot of fun. DBFC hype is real hype and worth sticking around for. The Dragon Ballers, they uh, have a good time with themselves. So this is Losers Finals, and then the winner of this place, yeah, hardly in Grand Finals. Opting for Summer Sky specifically, and here we go, Losers Finals, Melty Blood type Lumina. It's, yeah, spotty at best. Yeah, just charging. Roa is really good at controlling both the ground and the air, preventing your options from approaching him, so if he just stands there and charges, he's basically goading you into falling into his trap. A lot of uh, clashes and shields at the beginning there, but here's a nice 4200 damage from Pico. 2 and 4 a my hated. Yes, Roa's needle is, or 2 and 4 a's. Nice whip punish from Spencer. It's very strong neutral oh. option. Controls the horizontal space in front of him, and he has a cancel behind it in case he needs damage or to keep you blocked it. So it's very, very powerful. Oh, fatal jump B. Need some damage. Is he going to do super? Yeah. Wants to have those additional options this round. It's okay. She keeps building nice. meter like She'll be in the air. Bam. Meets in the air, doesn't, but it wasn't a fatal, so he doesn't get the full combo. Nice shield. But blocks a BC on the other, right, other way there. Yeah. Even if your attack was the one that got shielded, you can still BC as a way to sort of get out of the situation entirely. Something that I forget all the time. Nice, exactly, yeah. But he uh, lands and managed to punish him with the 2A. Now we're, oh, nice. Just wake up, Ash. That wasn't a real setup, huh? He was brave for doing that. Pico backs off, didn't want to deal with, yeah, that moon skill slide there. Yeah, even if you have to shield it, because even if you block it, it's not punishable. It's only minus three, I believe. It was normalized to be minus three at all times. Uh, I'm not certain. Oh, no shield in the heat. It's a blood heat pop. It's fatal. Blood heat, extra damage, plus uh, arc drive at the end. Ooh, doesn't get the super no. at the end of it, Yeah, though. too late. Might have been nice for Pico. He's still pretty hefty in the lead. That's it, yeah. And it catches a stand shield there with the 2B, I think it is. 
Now they both got four pips a meter there to work with. Oh, it just stalls his air momentum with that, but... Yeah, attempted to catch him off guard, but he was ready for it. Spencer with the punish. Ooh, nice, stand shield. shield. Pico's ready for it. Yeah, I got hit by that, man. Yeah, I did too. You don't see you didn't, you didn't see how many times I got hit by that off stream by all of them. <laughs> it's very unhappy. Nani install to give him an advantage here. At the yeah. end of round and three. Just yeah, see, that's why to an, Noodle is such a powerful option. Because it covers so much space in front of him with very little risk to himself. Mm -hmm. Blocks the 2-2-B, yeah, gets hit by the overhead afterwards. IAD because why not? He's got a bunch of Moon Drive, Moon Gauge, and a meter, so. Ooh, missed the launcher there. But now Pico's out of the corner. Oh, not enough. One more hit. Gotcha. Spencer takes game one. They're dashing, they're jumping, playing Melty Blood neutral like you do. Already, yeah. So when you block that 2 and 4C, it's throw is extremely plus because you're in block stun for absolutely forever. So he basically gets a free mix up of whatever he wants. That's why everybody shields that whenever possible because... Yeah, you don't have to deal with the block stun. You don't want to be caught lacking. Especially in the air. If you block it in the air, you're toast because you can get unblockable from the ground. I can't believe he just blocked all that. Yeah. And, ooh, gets hit at the end there. These undernight players, man, they, they block a lot. Contrary to popular misconceptions. Well, you know, that is the, the, the defensive OS game, so. True. Yep, Needle, gotcha. You basically approaching him on the ground so hard. And approaching him in the air is a trap too because of the 2 and 4 c behind it. Ooh. Oh, is that far enough? No. Oh, he did the unblockable version too, but he was like, I'm stand shielding, dude. Well, yeah, he had enough time to shield it anyway. Uh-huh. He wasn't actually a punish. I like the idea, but yeah. Ugh. Yeah, just dropped the shield. Looking like a clean sweep for Pico here. That should be enough, right? He has more meter? I don't think oh, he does, do it. There's yeah. no other EX move to end it with. OPC to start. Oh, okay, flips out combo. of the corner. Oh, Makes punish. it harder right. for Spencer here. Moon drive pop. Yeah, gotcha. Landing. Yeah, that punished the landing recovery there. It's a game for Pico. 1 1. He's got those baller red pants on the Roa there. I like that. Yeah. I like crop top Roa better than like just shirtless Roa personally. Yeah, it, it adds that little bit of sluttiness you want to see from that character, right? Yeah, I've heard someone described as like as type of Aroa as like a rich kid who's trying to cosplay like it's like a home a freaky homeless person. <laughs> I think that's pretty accurate. Whereas, I love that. Whereas like M CC Roa is like actually looks like a crazy person. Right. Ooh, is he gonna? Yep. End that with the arc drive. Maximize the damage. Might as well. You're losing it anyway. Sometimes it drains quicker than you think, and you don't get it, but there he got it. Uh, uh, drops the shield, gets punished on the recovery. He's got no meter, but not much left for him to chew through. Moon drive uh, uh, whoop. Shields high. PC gets shielded. Scramble. Shields 2 and 4 C, gets out of there with PC. Uh, oh, Ooh. no. No. He, oh, but he's, he's living. He's it, wasn't living. A, oh. it wasn't a punish, but... He tried to shield low and got Still hit. Still gets a beat. little bit of health back from the last part of that heat. Still not over. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Ah, uh, the deep Woo! Both players, no moon anymore. They're super jumping. Gotcha. There you go. Trying to jump. All right, now finish your combo. Oh, no. DPs instantly get out of there. Finish that combo, won't do too much yeah. more than this though. Roa can spend meter to extend that, but all invincible moves force ex uh, extra heavy uh, scaling if you use their a starter. Totally worth it for him to get Spencer in the corner there, but Spencer yeah. DPs out. So any extra damage you gain off of moves started by DP is minor, but you do get extra uh, meter gain afterwards and uh, push them for the corner. Oh, he checks out. out. Oh, gets the falling jump B anyway. Bad news for Pico as he's just popped his moon drive. He is still in moon drive, so you might do a wake up moon skill. Oh, no. oh that's a drop. 
BC, that should be it. Yeah, he, yeah, this is. Don't drop. He All right, we're good. Boom. All right. All tied up. And they have the same moon and the same meter. Okay, Got gets him with the aerial. Boom. Yeah. Got opened up high. Oh, moon drives just DPs, yeah. Uh, DP is a good option to check moon drive activations because if they press the button, you'll just plow right through it. But if your opponent sees sword, they can shield their block as well. So. Yeah, shield the moon skill. He's going to full punish on this. Oh, just drops it though. Shield. No, no, shield day is really minus. Oh, that could have been a better punish. Oh, oh the flash moon frame. Skill. You can jump cancel that DP when it's a moon skill DP. Yeah, you have to shield it if you want to call it out completely. One, two, Pico's up. I think he's uh, he's figuring out how Spencer likes to use his options here. DP for the hard knockdown. He's got him in the corner. trying to get out of there, but Roa's pressure is so uh, suffocating. Nice! Yeah, Shiki 2B hits twice. House has a higher hitbox than you would expect. It can cover really low aerial options like that. Which is especially handy against Roa because he likes to do hey, IAD jump B a lot. Gotcha with the needle. Yeah, I don't think anybody IADs quite as much as Roa does. Case in point, right there. Because his jump B is a really good button that covers a lot of space in front of him. And when he has the ability to lock you and block stun for so long, he, has, he can set it up essentially for free. Yep, you gotta crack at some point. It's never your turn against Michael Roa. Oh, got the falling jump C. Yeah. That's one round for Pico. If he wins this, he'll win losers finals and head back on up to Grands. Yeah, blocks that. Just needle, needle, needle. It covers nice so plans much time to block that. Nice, 2 through 6B, right through. Caught him doing something. It wasn't a counter hit, but. Yeah, Shiki's got a couple options there to get him in and yeah, got, uh, still has four still has the bar after spending that. Oh, the Ooh. delay, A, hey, that was so delayed. Oh, this. Never saw oh, that, that charge he could get there and still gets good. Oh, gets caught high. All right, it's not gonna be enough, but a couple more touches should do it. Hard knockdown from that DP. He does have full moon beer. Full, oh, nice, 2-2-B, two, two that's it. All right, moving on to the next round. Right. Spencer's gonna make it real hard for him. His back is still to the wall, but he's a little bit closer than he was. Good option there, right out of uh, round start. All right, Roa shenanigans happening. 41 down to damage. Nice shields. Stand shields to 5C. Who stops shielding and gets hit by that needle, unfortunately. Yeah. And he's got four meter. Is he gonna use it in some crazy way here? While he's you don't wanna corner? die with a full full stick of butter. No. Yeah, there's the heat pop. Oh, oh but he doesn't get him no. punished. Oh no. my gosh. What's happening? Uh, he's got one block of meter event. here. Uh, it's over anyway though. Yeah, there he goes. All right, Pico so takes it. Grand Finals is going to be uh, Hardly versus Pico again. Can Pico dethrone the king, the reigning champion, three times over? Yeah, like we were saying, uh, Hardly has won every mixed fest this year, uh, and I think he aims to win this one as well. The uh, the Barry Bonds of uh, mixed fest. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, 2004 Barry Bonds of mixed fest. Yeah. All right, so if Pico wants to win this, he is in uh, loser's bracket, so he'll have to reset it. He'll have to win uh, six games. Yeah, he'll have to win the first one, but you, you can't think about that now. You have to just think, win the game in front of you, and then you can worry about the other one later. Right, he does, but I'm yeah. thinking big, big picture. <laughs> yeah. That's just how you get in your own head. 
fun. That's right. It, it doesn't help to think that, like the way I was just describing it. You don't have to play both games at once. You just got to win the one in front of you and then move on to the next one. That's right. So he's just going to want to figure out his opponent here. It's like when you know when a team is down in a series three to one. It's, they're not really over. And I'm sure uh, Cleveland fans in 2016 can tell you that. The second baseball reference in five minutes, dude. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, All this brutal pressure from yeah. Hardly here. Just swinging in the air. Oh, mashes on him with a 2C. Throw a 2C moves him forward. It's an especially impressive button because he can constantly sort of scoot himself back in when you think he's pushed himself out. So he's got Hardly in the corner here. Yeah. See, he keeps going. Oh, he's trying to bait something, but yeah. yeah Hardly's he's, just blocking low, man. He's good at both up close and far away. Nice throw. All he had to do is just wait that out. Right, he spends meter to get the better knockdown. Say no. Ready, set, boom. Blocks low, blocks high. Good block from Pete. Shield high, PCs. Oh, PCs Ooh. back. Gets him. Some quality defense from both these players here. I know people like to joke that anime players don't block, but if you play anime games enough, you're gonna be, you're gonna have to learn to block some crazy stuff. Yeah, the nice and thing about Melty Blood is it has the block and the better block. Yeah. Except also you can get blown up for that. So if you don't learn how to block like you know, uh, 15 frame overheads, you're just gonna die in blaze blue, right? So. <laughs> okay. Pico's in the corner. Oh. Oh. No. Eight-way mix. Gotcha. Ooh. Gets both a high and the other side. So yeah. hard to see coming. Yeah, this this mix is particularly good on Arkroyd here. Cause like like we've been saying, look at that yeah. corner carry. Doesn't matter if he's on one side or the other. He'll get you in the corner when he hits you. He's trying to he's moving forwards and then stopping, trying to bait, bait some kind of mashing option. And normally, when you see someone advancing towards you on the ground like that, you can mash to interrupt them before they reset their pressure, right? Mm -hmm. But he's trying to bait that specifically. Uh, Pico didn't bite, but he eventually crumpled anyway. Nice. Gets the fatal air-to-air -air conversion. Yeah, Pico won the clash there. Throw a shenanigans, are afoot. Catches him shielding high. Gets a nice fatal counter damage here in the corner. Tiny little charge, hard knockdown. No meter, but he's about to build a bar. There he goes. Gotcha. Uh, exactly. Gets hardly gets hit too. I think that's it. Like it just enough. Uh, just enough delay in his pressure there. Yeah. That hardly tried to find the gap, but the meter economy in this game is a bit uh, free. A bit. Uh, uh, it's like Japan in the 80s. It, it, tell me more about that. Uh, very low interest rates, and you can walk into a bank, and they'll give you money. Okay, that is melty blood uh, yeah. meter management. You're so right. It was probably the biggest bubble of all times. <laughs> All right. Pico blocks the high. Watsy overhead again. Yeah. These Another thing is that Arc has her charge 5B is its overhead, but her charge 5C is an unblockable with flash frames. Right. And so they have required different options to beat them, which can be confusing if you're, re you're just looking for something that's like not a mid. So you then have to re recognize which one it is and what the right option is. Ooh, the triple slide combo from Pico here. 4BC, Roa 4BC is an absolutely impressive button. It's moon skill. It goes so far, it hits above and on the ground. Yeah. It makes approaching on the ground a nightmare. Oh, the trade! But he can't convert off of it. He can't rely on... Just kidding, he's just going to keep needling. Because uh, it's just that good. Oop, gotcha, back dashing. Yeah. Boom. All right, he's got four. Oh, no, the DP. Whips. Oh, just instant 3BC. That'll be enough damage. Yeah. All right, That's one to one. Pico. Right. Yeah, this is not where Ark wants to be because yeah. Roa can sort of try and keep her out. Wow, he just closes the gap anyway with the 6 PC. And now you're back to blocking. Yeah, had to block there, but didn't suffer all that much for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pico's Trying to better at the ground is so hard. Oh, look at that. 
he's getting better at finding the good places to use those needles and just shoot them out like that. Yeah, they cover so much space in front of you, it makes the entire horizontal space in front of him dangerous to be in. Or I approach him in. And if you try and take to the skies, he has the 214C but locked and loaded behind it to stop you from doing that. Right. Moon yeah. skill rush, boom. Yeah. Arc's moon skill elbow is a particularly infamous one. If she spaces it out just at the tip, it's not punishable, but it's an extremely power, extremely fast and quick moving way for her to close the gap. Right. Eight way mix again, which way you block it? Gotcha. Boom. This air dash back jump C is getting opening him up. Even the best of players are. He dropped that. Apt, yes, yeah. Drops again. He maybe could have arc driven and killed him there, but now he's got to suffer the row of pressure. I guess we'll never know. Pops a moon drive, keeps it safe. Overhead. Blocks the overhead. Blocked. Shield species. Uh oh, blocks. He's stuck blocking. Oh, no, nope. no mix afterwards. He didn't get hit by all the he didn't get hit by all of the the hitboxes, so he wasn't as plus as he could have been. Pop the heat, so we got. falling jumps. No conversion. Oh no, gets hit. Didn't. No, two B. That's oh, it. Oh, that was a regular old DP. That's it. Wait. Maybe it might not? not be enough. Yeah. He did his arc drive too early. Oh, it's wow. not enough because the heat arc drive is. Time's up. Oh, he won. Pico won. Holy mackerel! If only he'd block low. Yeah. The the heat arc the arc drive like. When you're in heat, does less damage than a normal arc drive, I believe. It does less damage the less time there is on the clock. Oh yeah, like you were saying before. Yeah, same thing with uh, last arc and blood heat. He's just flying, drops it though, doesn't get a hard knockdown. Oh, jump C, jump B, sorry. The IAD. Text out though. Block in, block in, block. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh no! Didn't believe in it. Didn't believe in the two A. All right, now the tables have turned. Oh, the two C. Nice. That might be it. Oh yeah, he's got three. He's he's running it. Yeah, spend those. Spend it. Yeah. Most most important resources of the round, man. Absolutely. Especially in this game where you build it so fast. Ooh. Wow, the air to air fatal with that. What even did he hit there? I think that was his. Uh, I don't know what the actual notation is, but it's his air special move where he. Oh okay. Oh, gets caught. Ooh, but he interrupts a super there? Yeah. Hold on. All right, now Pico's in the corner. Time to guess. The infamous, uh, the blender. Oh, the 2A wasn't meaty, so he was able to block the rest of it. But he's not able to, doesn't challenge or anything like that. Back dash, oh gets hit by the high he row. Two of, he just does two of them. Go with the 2-2-B! Uh, B, no! That's a game for Pico. Things Pico are looking up. 2-1. That was a, a risky DP that did not pay off. RL was popping. Uh, it's the same Mixed Fest Grand Finals for the last three, or two, or uh, two, I think. Yeah, that uh, sounds right. If Pico, Harley's won the last two, uh, Pico wins, then he will win the champion. Okay. Michael Roa is uh, public enemy number one in the game right now. Not only is he like incredibly powerful, he's also pretty boring because he has a very simple game plan that works on pretty much the entire cast. Yeah, um, lots of scary moves that just kind of work a lot of the time, relatively yeah. easy access to both frames. Locks you down and blocks down for a very long time. All right. Lots of good damage as well. Ooh. Yeah. Blocks the right way. Uh, yeah, Arc's Rekka is such a impressive. Oh, and Moon Drive does so much damage. Yeah, Moon Drive's Moon Skills also build you extra meter as well. Yeah. Unless well, she already has three bars, but doesn't go for the 1. other 4 for one bar. I mean, okay. Doesn't go I for guess the, it's like relatively. Yes. Oh, gets up on the overhead, but no mm -hmm. conversion. Nice throw. Nice. Gets a combo because Arc is broken. Yeah, exactly. Is he gonna end this in? The, no, he's doing the two three six C Ender instead of the two and four. Oh, didn't throw it. When 2 and 4 C Ender is usually what gives you the better OG, I think. That's what we've, that's been decided among ARC players. I could be. I don't know enough about the differences. Jeez. All right. Dies, but still has three bars and some change for the next round. Oh, gets hit pressing something by the jump, IED jumpy. Holy. 
Roa's jump B is a very dangerous button. Or if he can also sort of re back out of it, he'll jump A if you block it, so that he can do a bunch of extra overheads behind it. So if you go from back all the way down to down back immediately to try and fuzzy, he'll get you right, over yeah. up overhead. He gets like, does he still get triple overhead, or was that I believe he can. He can just press jump A a bunch. All right. There we go. This is 2 one 4 c Into the okay. standard. Oh, yeah. No, that, I definitely see that one more often. Yeah, that's it. Round one, this round nice. is hardly. All right. There was a big debate among ARC players whether you should end your combos at 2 3 6 c or 2 one 4 c and I think they've decided that 2 one 4 c is the better one. All right, Pico still one round away from refitting gotcha. the bracket. Yeah, he couldn't block in time, got hit. Yeah. Uh, just charging. Yeah. He's sort of goading you into the trap of trying to stop him from charging, at which point he can just cancel out of that and stop you in your tracks. All right, Harley's in the corner here. We've got a full stick of butter, though, all four. Mind drive, shield, BC. Ooh, super no late punish. shield, BC. No punish, but gets hit by the needle. No, the needle again. That might be uh, it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh no, it's not. He's got a long way to go, though. All right, I mean, he can pop blood heat. He could. And then it becomes but reasonably he, a game again. If he does it from still, too far still away. Still very uphill. That's he, true, yeah. Roa can punish him. So he has his best bet is to, yeah. All right, bracket yeah. reset. Pico, turn on the Jets here. Pico lost pretty convincingly, and I believe it was winner's final, so he's come back with a vengeance here. Yeah. Character select. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Oh, there might be resetting the round counts after the game. Oh, does character select do that? Okay. Well, yeah, if you go back to it, it like changes the, but you can't, we can't even see them anyways. <laughs> right, right. All right. Yep. Oh, backs off after the jump forwards. Oh, gets I mean, hit. Yeah, Bates a shield, but back dash, so wasn't able to actually capitalize on it. Yeah, Arc's Rekka is both a gigantic obnoxious hitbox and delayable, so if you try and press in the gaps, you can get really hurt for it. Blocks low in the right direction. Ah, uh, moon skills. Yeah, you have to shield <laughs> to get them to stop doing that. But if you guess wrong and you shield in their face and they don't do anything, you just gave up your OP for nothing. Yeah. All right. But if you do shield their move, wake up moon skill, you feel like a big brain. Like, well, what, whatever happened in those five seconds of character select, hardly figured something out. You know, small sample sizes. Yeah. Sometimes the best team can look bad when playing the worst team. Nice back dash. Just barely finds the gap between the plus frames and the air dash back end. Say no. Another for it. Shield's low. Risky because if he goes any other option, you can get blown up for that. But it did work that time. Yeah. Oh, he, I, he could land with the jump C, which would fatal you. Yeah. Um, 2D beats both the low on like both sides, which I assume is why he went for it there. There's yeah. like three options. Well, yeah, four, four options, including throw. If you land and go low on either side, 2D will win. Yes. But if he lands with jump C or he grabs you, then the shield will lose. And if shield loses, it loses hard. Yeah. Yeah, beats two options, but it's very risky. Yeah, if you lose... Like that? Okay. Just yeah. a punish, not a fatal counter, at least. Yeah, but. so it, it, he dropped the shield in time, but got caught by the recovery of... The oh, needle lift. Yeah. But he can still cancel 2-1-4-C, even if needle lift. Yeah. That's it, yep. All right. Hardly at max meter here. Yeah, and max enough, meter, enough half the moon gauge, enough yeah. that he can moon drive whenever yeah, exactly. he wants. It's like an agent. You want to use it as soon as you get it. Mm -hmm. No, no EX Ender for Oki, though. And now the tables have been turned on him. Deep. Oh, dude, please, no punish. Whoa. <laughs> the blocks, the blocks. His DPU complete Ooh, really without any blocks at all. What a champ. Wow. All right. That was a brave option to Moonwrecka after the needle, reading yeah. that it was going to be needle into nothing. Oh. Oh, no. Why did he drop, drop it? the shield too early? I, I mean, Maybe I guess he didn't think it was going to be uh No, it's heat. because I, if you cancel 2A into shield, you cannot hold it. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot they added that. And it's with Whatever patch, like, a year ago at this point. Yeah, because uh, it was a really powerful OS. So they did that as a way to nerf it, yeah. If he had just done normal high shield, it would have caught the heat. All right, it's looking pretty even here. Harley's got a lot of meter, but he is also mid-screen, so his Oki isn't as strong as in the corner. Oh, get caught, that's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that needle is just, it's not a projectile, it's just instant. Yeah. 
big old strike that goes half screen. Yep. Yeah, it's not as bad as CCC row, though. Oh, sure. So, you know, you could always have it worse. <laughs> oh, it doesn't finish. Oh, it's so dangerous because you can't block air att ground attacks in the air. If you fall in the corner, you can just get hit by something. But if you try and air dash out of the corner, your oh opponent can see where you're going to land and arc intercept. Moves so fast. Yeah. <laughs> We're all the way in the other corner, by the way. All right, he's been get blocking these crap. Gotcha. Yep. Oh no! It doesn't matter how good of a player you are. This setup is so strong. You do just you are reduced to just guessing. Yeah. There is a way to DP both sides, but even then, that could be. That yeah. sounds like an incredibly cursed input. Well, it's like, you can do it in Street Fighter 2. I mean, Street Fighter also, not Street Fighter 2. Yeah, yeah. But like, you have to just basically get all the required. It's like a cursed half circle type thing. Yeah. But Arc, all right. al Arc also has a 2 2 DP. Alright. So it'll counter catch low stuff. shield. Because, you know, she needs it. <laughs> of course. Heats, yeah, he doesn't, doesn't want to take it. I wouldn't either. Yeah, instant high row. Madam, madam. Yeah, it goes for the 2A, but doesn't cancel it into shield that time, so it gets hit blocks, by the heat. Blocks, gets grabbed, fatal grabbed. Gets hit, oh, gets All hit right. overhead, too. It's overhead. All right, time to guess. Yeah, okay, he's nope. been doing 2 and 4C like every time. I wonder if that was just a miss input the one time he saw yeah. 2 c because like he, re he recently learned a new 50-50 corner steal setup that he's been doing, which is often 2 and 4 C. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense because it takes you out of the corner. I was a training dummy for it earlier in casual. Needle is a yep. pretty can, good starter. He gets damage off of it from anywhere, too. It's going to be skills. one touch. Oh, the Ooh, no! there's the touch. The trade confirms. Oof. I did not think he was going to be able to get a combo off that, off the trade. Yeah, after getting so many uh, Fatal Counter instant air dashes, get hit out of one and your Fatal Counter in the air. You're in the corner. Oh, gets Fatal nice. Grab. That's fatal Grab than, in the corner, which is terrifying. Better than getting Fatal Load. True. But, like, yeah, that was 3.1k off a of grab. Oh, yeah, Shield Bees. And he didn't shield. He didn't delay the shield back in time, so you get failed if you don't do that. If you just hold the button, you get fatal by shield B. You have to let go and then time it right. Nice blocks. Yeah. Plus, Blocks still done. more mix ups coming. No, oh. to go forwards. Rose 2C also advances him forwards. So whenever he pushes himself out, he can sort of scoot his way back in. Oh, don't All get right. last arc. Don't get meme. What was that DP? All right. That was a choice. Still got Moon Drive, so he's got options. There it is. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Back to the wall here. <laughs> what a trade. Yeah, and how do you get past this, right? I mean, yeah, just keep yeah. doing Needle, keep Arc out. Arc doesn't really have a way to get past that other than jumping over it, which is way riskier than what you want to be doing and when you're in Moon Drive. Even if you try and do Clash Frame Elbow, you know, Pico's going to be ready for that, because as mm -hmm. soon as it Clash Frames, he's going to jump Shield or do whatever, right? Pico on the verge. Of dethroning the reigning champion. All right. Preventing the, I think it's the three feet or four feet. I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. Right. I've only been coming to these since uh, summer. This Michael Roa champion is very problematic. It's pretty good. There's a reason people complain about him. Yeah. Shield high this time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just jumping all over. God, elbow so good. <laughs> you're, you're watching for like 20 different things at oh, the arc, and man. then she just pulls up and grabs you, and you're like, God damn it. Yeah. Oh, she'll be kept him safe. Both in moon drive. Yeah, that's minus. All right. Can't be doing that. That should be it with three bars. Oh. Uh, yeah, to spend it should it. be. If he chooses to spend it. Yeah, unless he decides he wants to oh, fade the next round, which is. Okay, just, two bars kills. Just all right. Early. He's smarter than me. He plays the character. Oh, yeah. He's like, you know. <laughs> There's a reason he's won a few I've times I've been playing before. this game for like a year, and I'm like barely better than I started. And Hardly is like doing all this stuff, running circles. Uh, Cone is even bigger than the Eagle. Yeah. Yeah, the 4BC is insane. And he gets damage off of it anywhere on screen, too, because he can soup right in. All right, Shield A starter. I 
Yeah. I actually don't know how powerful it is for it's I know quite, it's like reasonable. It's really strong. It's not as strong as like a 3C normally would be. Because the hit stun's a little bit different. But it is still very powerful to the Ooh. point where a successful shield A is like re real yields reward that you could argue is. Nice not shield, nice! That is not in accordance oh. with the risk. Couldn't quite continue the combo. So, one of the big things about shield is that you don't want to get shield aid because a good player could get a lot of damage out of that. Right. Block, block, block. It's all you can do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a it's really spooky so, with 2A. Oh, got him. It's so scary because you never know when you're actually allowed to press and when you're not, especially in the heat of the moment. Yeah. Oh, shields. Oh, heat. Oh, BC, that's BC, it. nice. All right, hardly back on the board. Back Still alive. It. These two always put on a thriller here, folks. It's like a... Let's go, Melty Blood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rekka, the, the, Moon Drive. Yep. It's a thrill in seeing the two best go at it in something. Definitely. Uh, neutral, gotcha. Oh, arc, yeah, Arc 2B. Lee moly, that run speed. Yeah, Arc 2B also is one of her low key most. Um, extremely good moves because it's low she low profiles a lot of stuff and the tip of it is disjointed as well so it allows her to sort of out footsie a lot of things that you could potentially throw in the mid-range and especially she goes underneath a lot of it too yeah. all right back throw in the corner all right time to guess is it gonna go low shield again no moon drives mm. three bc yeah. i i don't know if he had enough time to cancel into shield there because it was a 2a or not but um I, I'm pretty sure that was 2A, but that, that's definitely still, like, a c pretty risky gamble after they moon drive. Yeah. Because often, yeah, oftentimes people just grab after moon driving anyway. Mm -hmm. Block. You have to block all these overheads, or else you don't have it. You're out. Nice. Backdash out. Come to a safe uh, Oh, gets oh just barely clipped. So scary. All right. Tournament round for Pico. Hardly still got all the meter, almost half a moon gauge. Uh, Shield nothing is terrible unless it's genius. Well, it's and there it was really good. <laughs> it's not a bad idea as you might think, because yeah. oftentimes if your opponent doesn't do anything either and you drop your first, you get a free punish. So it's basically a game of chicken, mm -hmm. where if you commit to an option and you sort of choose to not play the game at all. Whiffing 2B in front of low shield. All right, Hardly's back is to the wall here, but he's got a full stick of butter. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, blood anticipating heat. that blood heat. I didn't want to say anything and then like get it shielded, but. Blood heat's a big risk. If it doesn't pay off, he's back a lot there. Of he's got enough health that I'm pretty sure he can survive all a combo. Yeah, he, he's pretty much a two touch now. Which is a significant difference. Shield B, zero on hit, so you're still playing RPS afterwards. Nice! Ooh, drop fatal, jump just C. Just barely oh. catches the startup of the Gonna needle. get one bar for this. Swan suspended immediately. Yeah. Fatal jump C again! Wow. No meter though. Yeah, Gonna still have to needs do. another touch. Oh, it just barely built one. Alright, one more. Uh -oh. I think a throw would have done it there. Oh, got him! Got wow. Alright. His back to Hardly the wall. He shows up in the biggest Refusing to moment. give up. The clutch god himself, the David Ortiz of Melty Blood. Oh, the trade! And he gets a combo off that. All right, yeah. Two and four, so you continue. Take him all the way to the corner, because everyone in this game has such insane corner carry. Yeah. Ooh, not all the way. <laughs> oh, jumps over it! Oh, no! He's not dead, but it'll be very... He's got a long road to climb. All right. Wind drive. Yeah. Uh, All right, didn't got him. It? Yep, and there it is. Congratulations to Pico. We have a new Heath champion here tonight, folks. After getting sent to losers, making excellent run back. Yep. Two great sets and grands. Yeah, hardly beat him pretty convincingly in winner's finals, but he has come back with a vengeance here tonight. Yeah. And I believe that'll be it for us. We're passing it on to Dragon Ball now.
Yep, Dragon Ball Fighters coming at you Shoto here soon. Gunball. Say your name before you leave, though. Oh, yeah. Say uh, I hopped in for the last, like, few matches. I'm Bobber Bojo. Uh, you may know me as probably not much else. I entered as Average QC Enjoyer, but I don't know why I do that. Why you would know that. Uh, yeah, thanks for letting me hop on commentary. Cool. Thank you. All right. And with that, we'll be transitioning over to Dragon Ball. Though might be a quick little... Uh, awards ceremony here. I do believe. Do believe Phil is gonna give us some something to say. There you go, sir. All right, your Melty Blood Type Lumina Top Eight for Midwest Mix Fest Fall 2023. Yeah, line up, line up. Yeah, Pico on that side, and then everyone else. This way down. All right, everyone here for five. Blink speed is seven. Lobster. Heavy lobster. Heavy lobster. Top eight. You made top eight. Chipmunk. Master Chipmunk. Melty Blood, top eight. Oh, oh shit. He might be playing Street Fighter. Whatever. Uh, oh, well. All right. Your Melty Blood Type Lumina Top 8, or what's left of them? In seventh place, we had Blixby. <laughs> also in seventh place, we had Heavy Lobster. <laughs> in fifth place, we had Master Chipmunk. Not pictured. <laughs> Also in fifth place, we had Made in Heaven. Also not. In fourth place, we had Havar. In third place, we have Spencer. I'll get you your medal in a second. Uh, silver medal. Second place, we had Hardly. And taking home the gold, your Melty Blood Type Lumina champion is Pico. Thank you, everyone, in Melty Blood. And stay tuned. We will have some Dragon Ball Fighters up for you next.